in this. This is going to help you take your uh, tangling to the next level. Everything there within book number two. And like Sandra said, it's all made by hand. All the words and all the drawings, all the pictures are Sandra's works um, because they really want you to become the best tangler. You've also got all these practice pages at the back as well, which means you can get stuck in, you know exactly what to do. Follow the guides, they're gonna really help you to become an amazing tangler. I love this at the back, all these little tips and techniques, just a quick cheat sheet, I call it. But again, <laughs> perfect for you. That is there, 45 pounds. $65.16, Club Inspire price, £36, $52.13. Now, maybe you are brand new to tangling. Maybe you've uh, never done it before. Now, I know when Sandra was here last time, the starter kit, the starter bundle sold out, and it's 70% of the stock gone now. We've re-brought it back. Sandra's brought it back for you today. 70%, oh, it's limited stock. As we speak, Johnny's there. It's limited stock already because you guys saw it and knew how good it was. It's there on the screen for you. Um, you let me show you what you're getting within this bundle. You're getting the pack of tiles, um, which we'll go into more detail. Why we've got tiles, uh, why you've got your name, date, and number. It allows you to do that wonderful journey that you go on when you're tangling, that relaxation. You know where you start. Every piece of uh, tile is a, is a journey of your wonderful tangling uh, creations. You're also going to be getting the equipment to do this in. You're going to be getting the pencils, the pens, the, oh, every time the tort... Tortion. Tortions. <laughs> you're getting... Tortillas. You're getting, two, <laughs> you're getting two of the tortillas. You're getting uh, the wonderful B pencil. And you're getting two of those great uh, fine tip pens. I mean, so fine as a pen. You're getting two of those perfect for your tangling. You're also going to get your uh, sets of stencils as well. You're going to be starting with your circles and your squares. And then you're going to be getting that booklet. Now, this booklet, I mean, booklet's not the right word manual bibles i would call this um again all about tangling taking you right back to basics starting at the very beginning if you've never done tangling before this is going to be the perfect place to start it's limited stock it's limited stock for a reason because you guys love this kit you want to start your tangling journey so many of you are you know scared but have said this was the perfect introduction for me to start my tangling journey you really are going to come on leaps and bounds in a matter of weeks by using this great equipment. You've also got those practice pages at the back, uh, stencils, pencils, pens, and the tortillas, all in there for you as well. Um, £39, $56.49, 10 percent saving, but remember, it is limited stock. Uh, if you've got them in your basket, check them out now, because I'd hate for any of you to miss out on these. Um, Shayina said, oh, Sandra, I love your work. I'm a Thank collector you. of everything, Sandra oh, does. Oh, my goodness. Really do. Um, <laughs> We've got some more examples. We need to look at your shoes a little bit later on as well. Yeah, because we they do. Are yeah, incredible. They are, yeah. <laughs> you did, did you just do them last night as well? Yeah, I did. I did yeah, I did. They're new yeah, shoes, Johnny. Did, did they're new oh, shoes. <laughs> they're very good. They're white. They're white, but with black. But, right, come on, get them out. Come on, get your shoes out. Right, come on. Shall we? Shall we? Where shall we go? Where's the best place? Where's the best? Come over to the living room. Oh, okay, I can put my feet on. Can I put my feet on the desk? Look. Oh, oh Dobby's there. Hey, Dobby. Dobby's there. Dobby the elf. Um, these are amazing shoes, right? And this is what we're saying about tangling. It, it takes over your life because people <laughs> adore it and love it. Look at these incredible shoes. They are brilliant. Look at them. Look at and them. all done by hand as well. We're coming for a close up yes, now. This is where it got on oh my. So, I love them. Do you lack room or anything? No, no, it's uh, you, obviously you want to make sure that you, the pen you're going to use yeah. is, is going to work. So, you know, think uh, Sharpies and stuff like that are going to sort of stay on. There you go, there's the other side of them. But uh, absolutely, yeah, just uh, just go with it. Love them. Yeah, yeah. They are brilliant. <laughs> um, that could be you. You could be tangling your shoes. That could be you. That's what you want in life. Love those. Um, so many great collections. Right. So, what are we going to do next, Sandra? Uh, we have to do a seahorse. Let's do it. Have to do of a course. seahorse. Now, in the stencil set, you're going to get two different sizes. I've given you two curves. This is one. This is it for the seahorse. You get this, this sort of shape here? Yeah. All right, let's put it on top there so you can see it. Look, this shape here and this bit here. Right. And you think, how on earth am I going to do that? How but are there you going to do this? You've got this one here as well. So, you've got the same but different size. Yeah. So, I'm going to come straight in with a pen. And let's have a look. How do you draw a seahorse? So I'm just going to draw that line. I'm not going to draw sort of around, so I've got a, like a slot. I've just got the line. That's all I need for now. 
and then I'm going to use my pencil. And you see, that this is the beauty of this, is because I can turn the head yeah. and have it at whatever angle I want it to be. Oh, this is okay. why I don't give you a, a seahorse shape to draw around. I actually give you something to create your own. So there he is, look, first one, okay? And then from there, okay, how do we work this? I'm going to come in now and I'm going to create another line. So not too far away. And I'm going to sort of follow it along. There we go. Make it a little bit wider here. And then bring it down here so it's going a little bit narrower again. All right? Two lines. Lovely. Now, just to work that round, I'm going to create here a curve. Now, you might find as you do this, you want to do it in pencil. Okay. To get you going. Okay, curve. And then I'm going to put on a sort of large... Bubbles. Now, again, we did one of these kind of bubbles, didn't we? Book, mm. uh, book three this morning. Yeah. So, again, nothing that's really technical. Let's just bring it back around. There we go. And I'm going to bring it in, and I'm going to join it off there. Okay? So that's the first bit. You can see where the seahorse is coming in now. Yeah. Let's bring in... I'm just going to bring pencil in this time because I just want to change the shape a bit. Again, same sort of line. But this time I've gone sort of fatter here and then I've gone really thin here so that's my sort of main shape and then you know we talk about splitting things off a lot yeah so if I just sort of split that up into manageable chunks with my pencil and then come on in and I'm going to create a sh sort of shape it comes out a little bit but follows the lines you see out kicks out and comes back in so it's using the line that I drew as a guide but it's sort of giving me a chance to create a different shape there. You see? And just work it round. You can see it already, can't you? Yeah. How many steps have we done there, really? How have we done anything that's difficult? No. And you started this with a curve. You've drawn this. And that's the thing. I know it, I, it's, it's lovely that people find it mesmerising, but you can do it as well. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not giving you any magic here. It's, it's literally the shape there. Let's have a look at the head. So I did it in pencil because I want to bring a little bit of a, a just a bit of a, a bend there so I can make that no shape a bit wider, you see? Just yeah. sort of working within. And then let's bring around the head now so I can join this one here. And then I can bring this and join it maybe here. Bring this round just to finish it off. Okay? So it needs a bit of an eye. I've got lots of little bubbles here, so again, you can choose the size of the eye that you want and where you want to put it. Uh, I love that about it, because I think the eyes are the, are the bits that give it real character. Yeah, absolutely. And this is what makes it either comical or more realistic, or you know, just a bit of fun, really. There we go. There's the eye. And then a little bit of a, a shape around the head there, Great. just to give it a bit of a design. Okay, so he's a bit bald. <laughs> So he needs a bit of a hairdo. Absolutely. So I'm going to put some little bubbles just around the top here. See? And then as I get towards the body, I'm going to get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Okay? And then if I create the letter S, let's join them together. So we're going around this one and then into this one. And I always say as well, go around that bubble. Don't just sort of join one to the next. Actually follow the curve and it's going to give you that lovely... A sort of letter S shape that we need. There we go. And then join it to the body there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. And then same sort of S, joining it to the body. This is incredible. It's shapes. This is shapes and lines. I love what you've yeah. created. And so the, the only thing that you've had as a, a starting point was the curve and that head shape. So we now need a bit of a, a fin. Yeah. Now, we can, if using the logic, well, we can use one of the shapes. So, for example, we could use this shape here to actually put on and gives me a bit of a, mm -hmm. a guide, but I'm just going to do it freehand. Okay. You know this curve that we did here? Yeah. Right, let's do another three curl, bring it back round and come down. Let's do another. So, in we go. Up, back round and down. And then, rather than have a solid shape, let's create the fin with tangles. There we go. And just repeat the pattern. So again, very repetitive. And we're first going one way, then the other. And we're just going to build up these wonderful little shapes here. 
just to sort of see where see her, where it's going. Let's put that one in the background there. So again, you don't have to be an artist to be able to do this. No. You've just got to follow these steps. And of course, each one's going to look completely different, isn't it? And of that's course. the beauty of it. That's what we want. And then let's add a couple of just little, I'm going to go over little lines with little blobs on the end, look. Yeah. A line with a bobble. Evelyn's asking on Facebook, what type of pen or pencil would you use to colour your designs? Good point. I've actually uh, got here some tri-blends. Now, I'm on a super smooth paper mm -hmm. here, so that's really nice to use. If I just put the cap on there and I bring those in, I've got um, a couple of colours here to play with. I'm just going to move my board because, as we know, when we're... Uh, Using alcohol markers, it will go through, and I don't want yep. alcohol markers on my board, so let's have a look. So, creating this... Now, if you want to tangle a bit more, do so, and then colour over the top. Yep. But I, I sometimes I think when, when using your, your alcohol markers, I kind of like to colour in first and then go back over the top with my tangles. Because that means then you can go in with the metallics and you can have a nice sort of sparkly finish if yep. you want to. Or... Uh, you know, you can go in with just a, a white gel pen. Yeah. And that gives it a little bit of a dis difference. So if I just add a little bit of colour to a few of these, I'll show you how you can then tangle Lovely. over the top of it. Great price for your tri blend markers across the bottom of your screen there. You're paying for uh, three, you're getting one of the sets absolutely free. £62.99, $94.99. Yeah, they are, they, they are nice. And do you know what? I know alcohol markers and colouring. I used to colour actually in the, used to teach people to colour in the Chesterfield store. Yeah. Uh, and you know, sometimes it can be quite a long process because you're swapping pens all the time. And uh, these are a lot, a lot. Well, you can see they're a lot quicker. Yeah. Uh, and you can still sort of mix because I do like mixing colours. I don't mm. always want to stick with just the three. So you can still go ahead and do that and, and with this. But again, if you want to use um, coloured pencils, use coloured pencils work just as well. Or try using um, alcohol markers yeah. and then coloured pencils over the top. Clarice is asking, hello again, Sandra, question. On your last visit, I bought book one bundle and the new perspectives, yes. which I thought was book number two. So new perspectives is different than book two. It is, yes. Book, the new perspective book is almost where you put your own tiles in and you mm -hmm. start to create your own little journal with them. Uh, there are some hints and tips in there on uh, different tangles that you can use, but it's primarily for you to go in and start to create your own little book and um, it's a fantastic little book actually yeah. I use I do use mine a lot I, uh, I keep going back and adding bits so <laughs> it's not something I use every day no but I go back and I add to it as I'm, as I'm making my way around so you can see here that I've got a little bit going there. I'll just do a couple of these just so you can see uh, you know this is where of course I'm putting the dark where I'd put my uh, pencil and then almost this is what my tortillon would be doing is I have to blend it myself because it's pain so Brilliant. All right, just uh, quickly do this little bit here. I get so mesmerised by this. I knew when they said Sandra was in, I was like, great. <laughs> like, just relax. Just, just relax, just chill out. Isn't it just? Yeah. So, of course, you've got this. Now, what you can do, if you want to bring in um, your metallics or your white gels or whatever else you, you might have, you can then come back in and you can tangle over the top. So you don't have to be particular about whether you've blended it correctly or whatever. It, it just sort of have a bit of fun with it. Uh, Linda Armstead on YouTube. I could never do what, Lee, or what Sandra's doing. Any tips for new tangles? Don't try and make it the same as me. Don't think it's got to be perfect. Just have fun with it. Yeah. That's all you need to do. If you find that you've done one, you think, I'm not so good at this, I don't like it, or it's not exactly right, put it to one side, leave it, and do another. And then maybe in two or three weeks, even a week, mm. come back and have a look at it and think, my God, what the difference? That, yeah. What a difference. So you can see there, look, I've just put that silver over the top of that and it's just looking lovely. But of course, I don't have the, whole, the time to do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, but what I have done is I've got a picture here. Look we wish you could have more time. We wish we could. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, the heart shape here, if we go back to boot one, mm. Remember the heart shape out of boot one, That's essential cute. stencils? There it is. So I'm still using stencils that are coming with boot one on work like this. Yeah, limited stock as well on your book one. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I know why. It's lovely, isn't it? 
But yeah, let's let's sort of make a card of this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now here, I've got a piece of a nice piece of sort of paper, but I just want to turn it around so you see the back of it. Don't, that is beautiful. Yeah. See what I've done? That I've actually embossed that creative stencil. Brilliant. So it will go through the embossing machine, and I have got here for a little bit of gilding wax because, of course, we all want our, uh, we love the gilding wax. our, our you know, our cards to build and work with what we've got. Just going to bring a bit in. I, you know, I love the smell of it. Could just use it all the time on everything, but you know, less is more, Sandra. Less Absolutely. Is more. Patricia on Facebook. I love the seahorse. That's uh, Andrew. Andrew the seahorse. Oh, it's lovely. I do. There's something about it. And I actually did draw the original artwork for it when I was here last time. Yes, you did. You were saying silly to John, yeah. didn't you? You designed this. In yeah, the John was watching me. He, he, started, he saw a, a blank page and then he came back and he saw a seahorse. And that's where it started here? Yeah. What, what was the inspiration for the seahorse? Was it somebody who works here? I don't know. You know, just sometimes I just get these ideas and, yeah. uh, and down they go. And sometimes I use them, sometimes I, I don't. I'll leave them for later. But uh, there you go. So I'm just going to put a touch of that on. So you've just got a little mm -hmm. bit of a glint. There we go. I'm going to put the lid on or else I'll end up with, my, with it all over the place. And if I bring my card blank in now, let's, uh, let's, let's check it's the right way. Let's, uh, let's do a bit of makeup and see where this sort of uh, yeah. leads. So, you know, once you've done your drawing, you've enjoyed yourself, you've had the fun, and now the, the beauty is actually making something out of it. So whether it's a card or whether it's a, a framed piece of work or even we talked a lot this morning didn't we, about stitching and uh, doing yeah. it on fabric. Maybe you want to actually create something fabric wise. Yes. Yeah. A um, couple of questions coming in for you, Sandra. Brilliant. Yeah, Susan perfect. Staff on YouTube. Can you use the tri blends over the micron pens without the microns bleeding? Yes. Please use that. Yep. Yes. There, there's your answer. Yes. <laughs> uh, Terry Anderson on YouTube. Any suggestions for practicing smooth lines? You can see where I start and stop, and it looks jagged. Ah. Uh, get yourself a piece of scrap paper, and it doesn't matter whether you use a pen or a pencil, but draw yourself some curves on it. And when I say curves, let me just show you. Don't, don't hold your pen like this and curve like this. Actually curve with your whole arm. Okay. Yeah? And if you start doing that, and then you, as you're doing large spreads, then get smaller and smaller, and then start with little circles, and that'll build up that muscle memory and help your wrist get used to the fact that right. it needs to follow. Don't hold your pen too tightly either. Just okay. sort of chill out with it and let it do the work rather than you. Lovely. Okay. Oh, felt like a teacher then. And guys, if you have got any questions, do ask, uh, get them involved. Uh, today's show, easy, comment below. It's now a bit easier, the wonderful uh, Rachel's on the socials. So just say hello wherever you are. Uh, if you've got any questions for the wonderful Sandra, do get involved. Who was a former teacher? by the way. They were I imagine you're a very calm, relaxed teacher. Oh, not all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> I worked in technology with a lot of boys. Yeah. <laughs> so you can imagine sometimes, uh, you know, shouting over the machines. Yeah. And, and things like that. I think there they were the odd times, you know, as you, as you can imagine, with uh, 20 odd boys in a classroom, as my technician used to just open the door slightly and just slide a cup of tea in. Lovely. <laughs> Be like, yeah, Sandra, I think you need this. Okay. You see here what I've done? I've actually cut out the, the little fins a little bit, just so they lift slightly. Oh, okay. And then uh, I've got a little bit of, see, I've, I've got double-sided tape all over my desk now. <laughs> got a little bit of, you know, a few uh, of my uh, little die cuts in it. This is a die I had, you, you know, years and years ago. It's one of those things that you sort of keep coming back to all yes. the time. But it just looks like, it can look like Christmassy leaves or yes, it can look like seaweed. seaweed. See? There we go. So let's bring that over there and add that in. And then, of course, we've got a bit of a sentiment. This just looks like a wedding card, doesn't it? Obviously, it must be that, that time of year. And there we go. Sentiment on there. So you've got a bit of the, the creative stencils there in the background. Not too much there, but just nice with that bit of gilding. Mm -hmm. You've got your oh, seahorses. Lovely, aren't they? Because, again, you could turn your stencil around and do it you know, both right. ways. You've got your essential stencil heart in there, bit of a sentiment in there, and you've got a beautiful card. Does need signing. You, you should sign all your tangles, to be honest. Absolutely. Um, it was someone's birthday yesterday, Sandra. Someone's very special birthday yesterday. Oh. Johnny. Johnny, producer Johnny's in. He yes. was, there is cake on the table. Have you had some cake, Sandra? Oh. Have you had some cake, some of Johnny's birthday cake? Do you know what, I, I can look at it lovingly, but I'm gluten-free, so. Gluten-free, Johnny. Well, that's very, se I'm very dairy, selfish. I'm dairy, to be job. honest, so I can't, have a, I can't even have a lick of the buttercream. Can Dobby have some? <laughs> Dobby's already been there. He's already been there. Dobby's already been on some. 
Uh, Johnny, how old were you, Johnny? 38. Oh. Charlotte, that's nasty saying 42. <laughs> what, what did you get, Charlotte? What did you get, Johnny, for his birthday? A hug. A hug. She that's, did say she missed that's you that's last fine. week, Johnny. She did say she missed Did you not get a hug? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Sharon on Facebook, wow, that just looks amazing. Terry saying thank you for the question. Uh, thank you for answering the question. That's okay. Uh, that board, by the way, is your wonderful... Uh, that Your boards can blame, but you yeah. sandtangled yeah, that as I well. I can show you the back. There you go, there's the back. That's what it looks like. And there you go. I haven't tangled on the back yet, I haven't got time. No. But if you think book one, all the books have got this on, and of course we looked at the pages inside book three, and this is on there in grayscale, so you could trace it and copy it over and have a go if you want to. Yeah. yeah um, Crafty Andy on YouTube asks, Cassandra, how do you judge how large or small your drawing should be? Is it hard for me, it's hard for me to determine on the tiles? Oh, um, what I would perhaps do then, if it depends, if you're actually working on the tiles and you, my tiles and, my, and in my book. So yeah. for example, here we go. Let's have a look. Uh, let's, let's, let's pick 118. See, I've got a bit of a border in here. Mm -hmm. It says an outer border and an inner border. If I look at my tile, I've got a massive stash of tiles here. See how this looks quite narrow? So yeah. if you imagine that that, and again, I'll show you with a, a pen here. Normally, my narrow borders are about five millimetres. Right, OK. So this is about that kind of thing. I see. And then in the centre here, again, if you gauge this, look, it's about twice as big as this one. So that's probably about a centimetre. But again, if it's not, you don't have to measure, and if it's not quite right, it's your version of what I've done. Mm -hmm. So don't don't worry about it. But looking at all of them now, you are looking at anywhere between. Look, here you go. That's that's between. That's probably about five five yeah. six mil. So nothing bigger than a centimetre. Perfect. Normally. Okay. Lovely. Uh, Linda on YouTube. I just love that board that Sandra is working on. That wonderful uh, board. It is great. <laughs> uh, guys, this is Santangle. If you wonder where your craft along is, don't worry. It's coming your way very, very shortly in just over 15 minutes' time. Debbie Robinson with Ben Mosby is going to be here. And then I'm going to be back for half an hour at the end. Why? Because I want to, all right? Um, Rachel says, can you eat a piece for me, George? I'll eat a piece of cake for you, my lovely. You, you won't ask me twice. <laughs> Look at me. You don't know this figure by not eating cake, love. Uh, right, let's take a look at book seven. Uh, book seven, very popular today. 50% uh, of the stock, over 50% of the stock has gone. £21.99, $31.89. Um, so much within these, these wonderful inspirations within this. You're going to get that wonderful tangling. If you've got books one, two, three, um, seven's the next progression. Because you're going to get your advanced techniques, taking your tangling to the very next stages. Um, like the rest of them, you're going to get those areas to practice within it here. Step-by-step -step instructions, Sandra's words, helping you through every step of the way. Oopsie daisy. And there's so much within here. And remember, all those wonderful inspirations at the back uh, from people. This is incredible. So much within here. 30 different tiles to give you some inspiration. £21.99, $31.89. Come inspire price applicable to this at £17.59, $25.51. Uh, a great collection. So... Sandra, we've got book one, two, and three. What is book seven offering us that oh, the other ones aren't? Book seven is offering you 30 tiles. Yeah. <laughs> and there's never any sort of rhyme or reason as to how many I put in or why. Honestly, there are 30 tiles in there, and they're completely new. They're completely different, but you don't have to sort of worry about whether you've never done it before or not. Every single one is from scratch. So I'm gonna, shall I'm going to do another one. Shall I do another Let's one? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. I've got black tile. Oh, there's, there is something really magical about working on black. You can see I've got some metallics in there. And we're going to start without a board or anything like that. And yeah. I'm just going to create a bit of a shape. So here we go. Oh, I've got silver on there. There we go. Bit of a shape. See, it's like a, like a loop or a teardroppy kind of shape. Yeah? There we are. So then let's do another one. But this time I'm going to sort of have the bubble bit there and bring it there. There we go. Same shape, just one's a bit smaller than the other. Okay, let's bring another one here. There we go. Okay. And maybe uh, maybe another one, this side. So I'm just going to follow that sort of shape and uh, and just create a few little uh, little loops. You know, coming from that sort of center point there. 
See, they're not necessarily the same size. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be. Let's turn it around a bit and let's do a few this way as well. And then uh, maybe one here. And of course, you know, you take your time with this and you just sort of enjoy it and see where it leads. You don't need to worry about where it's going too much. So let's have a look. Maybe a little one here, a little one here. And uh, I'm just going to bring a line down, put a few little lines inside. See, this is the beauty. Once you've, you've got a shape, you can then go in and you can create whatever you want to do within it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's give it a little bit of an eye. And then let's give it a bit of a beak shape here. And then I'm going to come around, I think. And remember that shape? It's a bit of a theme today, isn't it, that we're using yeah. similar sort of shapes. There's that lovely sort of swirl that we did on that fin on the seahorse not so long ago. And this is uh, one of the matte colours as well, but, you know, it's nice to mix the two together, I think. Yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, Patty Redman on YouTube. Can we get the boards on rulers on Crafters Companion? I saw them on Sandra's website and fell in love with them. Um, Sandra, can, next time you come, can you bring some boards and rulers, please? Well, I'll, I'll talk very nicely to... Uh, to Leslie, okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll get you some sorted, yeah. See, Cause that's how it works, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll sort you that out. You've asked, so we'll sort. Perfect. Uh, Sam, Susan Rushton, any relation? No. Okay. I don't think so. Maybe she... Oh, she's in know. California. Well, well maybe, oh. maybe she is, and maybe I need a trip. Maybe you do. <laughs> uh, Susan Rushton on Facebook. I have a black page journal that I absolutely love writing and drawing in. Something magical about the colours popping on the black yeah. pages. There really is. Oh, there is. I mean, this is just absolutely lovely. It's it's really just sort of coming together, isn't it? And just just enjoying it, just having fun creating it. Yeah, That's absolutely. It. You know, it's been nothing tricky. I've just done a few teardrop shapes and a few of these little loops. And uh, let's bring a little bit of, uh, there we go, a bit of a line in. Again, with that little sort of droplet on the top there, let's fill that in. Another one here, fill it in. And this is, the great thing is, I mean, I'm, I've got the instructions in front of me, but uh, once you've started, you think, well, actually, I want to do my own thing. Yeah. And that's absolutely positively encouraged. Don't think you've got to sort of follow it exactly. Uh, Colette Cooper on YouTube. Good morning. Finally purchased the Intro to Santangling oh, set. Oh, brilliant. You are very lucky because it's limited stock. I've got a feeling it's sell out by the end of the show. Oh, it's a, it's a good, such a good bundle there. Everything yeah. you need in one place, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Here we go. So I'm just putting little sort of dots in. I mean, you could come in, you can go to town on it really, couldn't you? And yeah. Of course, if you wanted to. We have talked about putting tiles together to make images. I am going to do that a little bit later. But okay. uh, you might decide, I'm, I think, now I'm going to use this one. You know, you might decide now that you want to put a border in and uh, come on in and draw a little bit of a border there. See, I've gone narrow because I, I quite like to see sometimes small borders and, and it holds that peacock beautifully. But, you know, you could just as much as perhaps have two or three tiles stuck together in one long rectangle. Yeah. And then create something there. Let's just bring in a bit of um, a bit of white pencil. Okay. A white chalk pencil that we, nice. we, we had last time we were here. Oh, yeah. Love those. And uh, if I just sort of go over the top now and add a little bit in, in places. And again, you see, I'm not being particularly neat. It's just about... Oh, look, missed one. Missed one. Yep. I'll come back to that one in a minute. And uh, maybe a little bit around the outside there. And along here. And again, I'm not trying to colour in. I'm just sort of applying that, that pencil because the tortillon's going to do all the work. Yeah. Now, the problem here, I've got a tortillon that's got graphite on right. it. And it needs to be a clean tortillon to keep it white. But that's where you would perhaps either uh, file it off or where you've got your stash of 12 anyway. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, get, get open a new one. Again, there's, there's something magical about opening a new tortillon. It uh, makes you feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> but it does me anyway. So, you see, just adding that uh, little bit of white there. I've got a bit on there. And a bit round the edge. There we go. Just sort of... Uh, <gasps> well, it Susan's been back in touch. She went, uh, Rushton is my married name. 
Oh, it's my married name. So it's your married name. So it's quite possible that we could be related yeah. by marriage. His family tree does have ties in the UK. Uh, if, it, if it has ties to Wales, Ooh. maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, Susan on YouTube, uh, Susan staff wants to know, I don't have the idea Sandra has it in her head. Her artistic mind must be in <laughs> overload. What inspires her ideas? Do you know what? Everything. Anything and everything that you see. It might be something somebody says. Yeah. It might be something I see. Even down to, you know, maybe if you, you, you're walking in a, a shopping centre and you see the lights mm. and there's some really nice sort of fancy lights going on, you think, oh, there's a tangle within there. Brilliant. And that starts it off. But uh, I'm just going to bring you in the, uh, the tile here, the original tile for, uh, for this one, which is 126. There it is. So you see here, just because we're actually doing something a little bit different, but you're getting the same thing every time you're getting a peacock, but they look completely different. Yeah. Same members of the family, but uh, distant cousins. But this is the beauty of it, isn't it? Everybody's is going to be completely different. It really is. Uh, brilliant price for book seven, £21.99, $31.89. Connie on YouTube, these tortillons are like magic wands. They, <laughs> they really are. are. They are. They really are. I'm getting good now, Johnny. That's what it is. Um, let's have a look at book three. Give me a second. Let me get it. I've, I've, I'm sorry. I put, I'm organised, Johnny. I put it back. I'm really, I'm really tidy. Um, book three. Uh, again, that great collection for you here today. Never seen in the USA before. Here today for you, book three. I know it's never been seen before because Debbie Robinson just came in, looked at it, and went, "I need that." Uh, <laughs> you've got it, of course you have, haven't you? Of course you've got everything. Uh, Nineteen pounds ninety-nine, twenty-eight dollars ninety-nine. Uh, book three. Again, that great step-by-step -step instructions for you to create some wonderful tortillions. Not tortillions, tangles. <laughs> Begin to the T, what more do you We're want? We're going to test you later. I know. Uh, your wonderful tangles here for you every step along the way. Um, really is a great collection and some great ideas. You also, don't forget, got those practice pages at the back as well, uh, meaning that you can get great colouring, uh, great, uh, one, I keep wanting to call them tortillas now, great tangles within your collection. 50% of the stock has gone on book number three. £19.99 at £20, $28.99. Oops. <laughs> um, the wonderful dragons, sea lions, no. <laughs> sea lion. <laughs> you could do a sea lion if you're up for it. I could challenge you. <laughs> um, <laughs> sea lion. <laughs> sea lion. Sea hurt. Uh, dragons oh. and, of course, owls. I just don't, the thing is, I don't expect sea life with dragons and owls. It's a weird combination, <laughs> but I love it. Um, <laughs> Here they are, your wonderful dragons. You get the stencils in there for you, and then you're also going to get all the wonderful instructions as well for you. The great ideas to get you through that wonderful stenciling. You've also got the owls again for you. Oh my goodness, if you could see in the studio. Uh, there are the <laughs> owl stencils for you. Ben, can you behave, please? Um, then you've got your wonderful, all the wonderful instructions. That was wonderful. Look at that owl, how majestic that is. Um, you've also got your sea life they're all stencils not sea lion uh, again with all the anchors the bottles and all the different items plus all the wonderful step-by-step uh, -step guides to get you through this 46 pounds 66 dollars 49 um, a brilliant collection saving yourself 10 percent worth it because it's going to be that great step-by-step -step instruction helping you become the best tangler what else is going to make you the best tangler is that wonderful starter bundle if you've got it it's gone. It's sold out. Yes, that starter bundle there is for you. It's sold out, guys. Unfortunately, uh, we brought more back in because it sold out last time. Do you know what it means next time, Sandra? I'll bring you more back. <laughs> uh, that is the start of it. This is what started the, uh, fa the uh, phenomenon of Santangling. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, it's sold out there for you today. Uh, Crafty and Angie says on YouTube, I was waiting for book seven to come out. On Crafters Companion book number three with it. Awesome. Got my order in early. You can see why you're getting your order in. It's selling out so, so quickly today. Uh, that's why. Uh, book seven for you, though, is that first time ever seen by our USA audiences. 50% of the stock has gone already on that book seven. Um, Chris on Facebook. Next books, Tales, Tangles, Techniques, and Tortillions. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Chris? What do you want me to do, eh? Messed up in life? Um, <laughs> 
Sandra, it's so great to see you again. Yeah, um, I'm not going to be with you. You're going to be later on with Ben Mosby, mm -hmm. um, everyone's favourite, with his waistcoat, of course. Um, no sea lions then. What are you going to be bringing up for us at, <laughs> later on? I'm definitely going to show you how to use tiles, put them together to create the dragon. <gasps> and to create the jellyfish. So oh. we've got two cracking demos. I've saved, have I saved the best for last? I, th I don't know, I, I think, think the seahorse so. and things. But yeah, the, just, just showing you how, how tiles can be used in a oh. completely different way. You're gonna love it. Wow, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great show. Sandra, always lovely to see you, my Thank darling. Thank you. Uh, you too. take care. Right, stay tuned because we have got a craft long coming your way in just a moment's time. Can you guess what we're using? The vintage butterfly. Uh, Debbie Robinson, a.k.a. Sang Tangle's biggest fan, a.k.a. Vintage Butterfly's biggest fan, is going to be taking you through this wonderful craft along alongside the waistcoat wanderer himself, Ben Mosby. Um, as well, don't forget, I'm going to join you towards the back end of your craft along, and we're also joined by Gilmore. I can see her on the screen. Hi, Gilmore. It's nice to put a, name, a face to a name. It really is. Uh, right, loads more coming your way. Uh, I'll see you back in a little bit. But Ben and Debbie coming your way next with Craft Long. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, the neighbours. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. 
With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our Gold and Platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3-7 to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Hello and a very good afternoon, a uh, very good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on this, uh, what we're going to call a Wicked Wednesday. Oh, yes. So many great shows already today. Uh, the lovely Sandra has been with us, of course, uh, from Santangle. And we've got so much more to bring you over the course of the rest of your craft afternoon. Um, a little bit later, where are all these coming from? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit later on, uh, we've got creative cravings and also uh, you'll be seeing more from Sandra. Uh, this next couple of hours, though, is all about uh, an award-winning presentation, uh, our Craft Along, which, of course, uh, is an award-winning show. Uh, more on that in just a second. I must just very quickly remind you, you probably know by now, but in case you haven't watched over the course of the last few days, spring has sprung. Uh, we called it early here at Crafters TV. Uh, went on Sunday. The spring sale is live through until this coming Sunday, end of play Sunday, up to 70% off. Uh, on the website no matter what your craft is you will find something I'm sure uh, an absolute bargain and by the way if you want to have a bit of a look at the um, spring sale deals we've got some of those coming up live for you on the show on creative cravings a little bit later on also worth shopping the web because uh, we've got our um, Spectrum Noir 3 for 2 deal on accessories there as well for you. That runs up until end of play on Saturday. And to top it all off, did you know we're celebrating Totally Tiffany's 19th birthday. Uh, so if you love all things Totally Tiffany, then uh, make sure again you check that section of the website where you will be receiving double points on all your Totally Tiffany orders. So um, lots to be shopping for, lots to be excited about. And as I say, you're here with us for this Craft Along where we do things in real time for you. Uh, you can join us, Craft Along. If you get stuck at any point, you can put your hand up and tell us. If you want us to repeat anything, you can ask us and we'll do it. It's all about crafting at a real pace. And then by the end of the two hours, hopefully you will have a lovely project um, to show us and to share with everybody else. The great thing as always is, is if you haven't yet got this collection, the Vintage Butter Vice Collection, I'll give you all the details and all the information you need on that. You can order it today and then you'll have this craft along to come back to you once you've got your product. However, it is not just me um, on the craft along today. Could you imagine? I'm delighted to say that, well, my absolute fave is back. I feel like I've not seen her in about a year. Um, we, got, we embraced earlier on. We when did. She, yeah, we, we ran across the car park to each other in slow motion. <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, and I'm... Yeah. <laughs> and I'm delighted to say my TV wife is here, Debbie Robinson. Yay! Mama, Mama, Mama. Mama. How are you? It's so lovely to see you and be in your company for this last couple of hours because I've been here since this morning. So, yeah, absolutely thrilled to bits to be back here at Crafters TV uh, for a second craft along in the space of a week. So, I'm really excited about this one um, because um, it's all about the vintage butterflies, Ben. So, not only have I got to work with the great Ben Mosby, my gorgeous TV of my fabulously talented friend Sandra Rushton, who you've just seen because I just love the lady to bits. She knows how much I love her. I've also got the gorgeous Johnny and Charlotte, who I haven't worked with for ages, in my ear as well. So, yeah, absolutely thrilled to bits be here. Do you want to see what you're going to be making? What are we going to be making? Come on. Shall we? Right, so I'm going to show you. Let's, let's show you the front part of this. Now, this is uh, called a pop-up book 
card now that's the beautiful front and then when you open it up you pop it out and you've got all oh. these beautiful pages in there as well now i'm going to give a little shout out this is not my own uh, design this is a, a lovely lady by the name of sal sam calcott i know her personally because um i down at my time down at Crate and Craft, wonderful lady from Mixed Up Crafts who uh, designs things and I took some inspiration from her design and thought that beautiful vintage butterflies would work so gorgeous on this and it really is a lot easier to do than you think and it folds fairly flat i want to say fairly flat because i popped some quite nice bits on there yeah but i just want to show you using our fabulous collection this is where we're going to be making this beautiful pop-up books ca book card shall i say uh, throughout the two hours this is what you're going to be making ben i am uber excited and i knew debbie was going to go to town here because i don't know if you know you probably do uh <laughs> the reigning champion crafter of the week Yay! having won last week and yeah, I put, I put a star up. I put a star up. I'm that diligent husband, you know. Uh, so I put it up on the board. The it's mate been last a while. Eh? It's been a while. I know. I, I plugged for you on Sunday, though. I, oh, I, yeah. bless yeah, you. Yeah. Um, yeah, we thought Corinne had it in the bag, but Debbie snuck in and won. Um, but yeah, I knew that this mate would be even better. But the question is, what do you need to get crafting along? So let's have a look at everything that you will need uh, from this collection. As I say, don't worry if you um, haven't yet got this collection, you can buy it today. But if you've got it, you'll need the uh, perfect papillon die set, also the um, kaleidoscope die. You'll need your opulent frame and your opulent edge. You'll need your tags and ticket set, plus your butterfly kisses stamp set. Uh, add to that from the collection, you'll need your seam binding ribbon, you'll need the butterfly charms, you'll need uh, some of your 12 by 12 paper pad, which comes with this kit, and your pearlescent cardstock. So that's kind of everything that you need from the collection. And then sort of the additional elements, the, the kit that you'll need to be crafting with, I suppose this is it's quite standard, a lot of the things. So you'll need your Gemini machine, you'll need the guillotine, you will need your score master, you'll need your all-purpose glue, tacky glue and red liner tape, and then from your water reactive ink pads, again, don't worry too much if you haven't got these exact colours. Um, you'll be able to sort of mix and match a little bit. But the ones Debbie will be working with, crushed velvet, pink tulip, grasshopper, sandstorm, and then uh, you'll need some uh, gems to finish off with as well um already loads of you uh coming in to say hello do let me know in the comments if you are crafting along and if you are if you need anything repeating um or explaining then make sure you get in touch shadaya is in saying good day my lord mosby good day <laughs> good day good, good day uh, mary beth says hello again uh, everyone being too concentrated on sandra to comment uh, apparently i've been in a tangle coma as well as a coloring coma um, Hayley Ralph says, I'm so looking forward to this with the lovely Debbie. Miriam says, oh, wow, Debbie, totally awesome. Um, loving this. Um, and Rhonda says, I love Sam Calcott. She's amazingly talented. She is. She's also uh, a very lovely lady as well. Yeah. Amazingly talented and amazingly lovely. She's a really lovely lady. Um, I follow her on YouTube, says Rhonda. Uh, Pat says, what a gorgeous project. And Sherry says, I cannot wait for this educational demo. Now, all the stars are aligning here because we've got one of the very best there. We've got the very best in there we've got this guy you know this is mediocre the very uh, best. How, what the very best thank you uh and we've also got a fantastic guest for you as well uh, one of my absolute faves um, and i was uh, i was watching her face in my little screen there a few minutes ago uh, when uh -huh. you saw the project it's the lovely gilmore how are you gilmore good how are you doing i'm really great actually it's nice to be here uh, debbie's here the sun's shining outside it's 18 degrees it's glorious and uh, you're joining in with this uh, this craft along as well are you super duper excited i'm excited this looks like a very fun project with an awesome collection yeah yes. um it is a fab collection as i say i was watching your face when debbie was showing what the project was and i can't quite work out whether you were sort of excited a little bit daunted oh. by the whole thing or what was it it was both. <laughs> a bit of a oh. mixture. Oh, mean, don't, don't be daunted. Uh, Do not be daunted, Gilmore, because it is a lot easier to put together than you actually think. And I know last week's, um, the last week's one that I did when Lorna Jane joined us, she said the same thing at the beginning. Um, but I promise you, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to put together than you actually look. There's only probably one little fiddly part, but it's a fiddly part that is worth doing uh, to create something uh, as beautiful. And like you've said, with that gorgeous collection, you couldn't ask for a better collection that works with this gorgeous design. Um, so don't be nervous, you'll be fine. I can't wait to see what you turn up, uh, what, you, what you interpret with yours as well. Um, so we're all good, ready to go. So Gilmore, have you got everything you need and are you ready? 
Yes, I am. Let's Excellent begin. stuff. Okay, born ready. We are ready to go. Um, we will be um, jumping in with Gilmore right throughout the show to see how she's getting on. Uh, and Gilmore, of course, if you do get stuck as well or need anything repeated, just give us a wave because I can see you at the bottom of my screen. Um, and again, if you are crafting along, as I say, do give us a, uh, a message on Facebook and YouTube uh, if you get a little bit stuck. This is the deal for you right here. Um, I'll go through everything in more detail perhaps in just a little while, but you're going to get uh, the full collection here. So it's a selection of beautiful dies. You've got your stamps in here. You've got paper, vellum, card ribbon and there's double-sided dye technology in here as well you've got brass lace you've got charms in here it's a massive massive collection and I think one of the most beautiful collections that we've done um, 50 pounds you're saving 63 dollars platinum members another 20 percent comes off that is 122 pounds 28 or 151 dollars 84 now what we've also done with this particular collection is we've supersized it we know that lots of you uh, tend to more often than not get the collection and then add more of the consumables in to it so what we've done is we've put together a bigger collection with a nice little bit of an extra sort of uh, Benny bonus in there because you're getting everything that you would get in the normal collection however on top of all of that we're throwing in another of the 12 by 12 paper pads we're also throwing in another set of the um, A4 cardstock and you're getting another set of the 8x8 vellum pad and it's kind of like the way that it works out that you're getting that vellum pad for free within the bigger bundle again that's the saving for everyone here platinum members 147 pounds 99 184 dollars 76 once again if you decide that perhaps you just want a few of the individual items from this collection of course you've got the ability to be able to build up your own smaller bundle should you wish uh, but this is the best value for money particularly if you love your consumables right i think we are just about ready to go uh, martha's just messaged saying hi ben uh, lord ben debbie uh, this is my first ever craft along when i am actually crafting along as well oh hello excited for that um and uh, Mary Pat says, I bet it, this is one of those easier than it looks projects. With Debbie at the helm, uh, it definitely will be. I'm ready. You guys ready? Gilmore's ready. Debbie, are you ready? I'm all ready, yep. I'm ready and ready to go. Take it away, Mrs. Right, so where we're going to start with is we're going to start with the whole construction of the pop-up um, the pop-up book card. So we're going to make all the pages. Before we start with all the decoration, we're going to create the outer base card, and then we're going to create all the pages as well, and including the two little mechanisms that fold this together. Like I said, it can fold really quite nice and flat. Because it depends on what you're popping in there. I've loaded mine up quite a bit with a, quite a little bit of decoration on that a bit uh, I saw a comment earlier about do the pages open and um, I'm not gonna say like turn right open but you can where you can pop things inside yeah. if you want to decorate it but it's more of a decoration more of a wow factor when you open that up and that's of course where you can put your message in the middle if you were making this uh, outside of this design with this collection uh, so we're gonna start with that little bit first Ben so I want you to grab hold of your guillotines and we're gonna start now normally if anyone knows me, I always make things with white stamping card. But I thought we've got some beautiful cardstock on the show as well. If you've already got this collection, you'll totally understand what I mean. We've got beautiful colourways mm. of this beautiful pearlescent luxury card. Um, and that's what I thought I would do. So I've changed it up a little bit, Ben. So I'm going to choose my paper colours. And the pages that I'm going to choose is I've got cream for my outside. I've got purple for a page, so I'm going to take one of the purple sheets. So I need one of each, so let me put that one back because I've got two there. Um, I'm going to choose one of the pink ones, and I'm going to choose one of the green ones as well. So basically, we're going to use, and it's, I suppose really it depends on the colourways that you want. So I've gone with uh, the outside, I'll just hold that there so you can see it. I've gone with the outside being the cream, uh -huh. I've gone with the purple, then I've gone with the green, then the pink. So that's why I've chosen those particular colours. So that's what you can do. Or if you want to do it all in one colour, you can do. Don't forget, craft alongs, they're here for you to choose how you interpret it. So you might like that design, but you might not like those colours. You might think it might look nice or monochrome. Um, it's entirely up to you. Literally entirely up to you. But first of all, we need four of those sheets. So I've got all four of mine. You're going to take your guillotine. So we've got, I've got my large guillotine here. Don't worry about this if you've only got one of the smaller ones. I always tell you if you've got a glass mat or a ruler and a craft knife, you can still achieve these uh, sizes as well. But I'm just going to extend my leg. I always call it a leg. I know, I know. I just, it's just the way I am. I just, it's, it's a leg to me. The arm, the leg, 
whatever it is that you want to just make sure it's fully extended. It can be whatever extended. you want it to be. Yes, you but extend just your leg make if you need sure to. it's fully extended. Yes. And the first part, so the, the size of the card itself, just bring that back in, it actually measures at five by seven. So we know straight away that, that first outer layer with the cream colour is going to be measuring at 10 inches by seven inches. So first things first, let's go up. We're going to cut this one to 10 inches. So take it up to that 10 inch mark, make sure you flush up to the very top and I can see I'm not, so I'm just gonna push that right up to the top, right up to that 10 inch mark. And we're going to just trim that down to the 10 inch, turn it on to the short side and take back to the seven inch mark. So we're going 10 by seven. We'll come to the scoring in a minute. What we'll just do first, Ben, is cut all these pieces out. Yes. Um, and then the next one that we need um, and again, choose your colour, it's up to, entirely to you. I'm going to go with a lilac one for this one. Uh, but we're going to take this measurement. Now, this one is going to measure in at eight and a half inches, <coughs> excuse me, by five and seven eighths of an inch. Now, I know people will say, how do you get the five and seven? I'm going to show you a little trick in a minute, Ben. So first things first, I'm going to take it to the eight and a half. Okay, excuse okay. me, I'll just take a swig of uh, right. cold water there. <coughs> So eight and a half inches, and then we're going to cut to five and seven in, seven eighth of an inch. So my little trick to you is, if you're unsure what seven and eight inch on the uh, guillotine is, is go to uh, your measurements. So I'm going to go back there. Let me just make sure I've got that the right way around. That's the eight and a half. So we're going to turn it onto the short side. I'm going to get a little pencil, or you could use um, your tools as well. So you've got your uh, your scoring tool, and you're going to count five and then you're going to go up to that seventh eight so obviously i know it's the it's the uh, notch before it's the mm. it's the grid before or the track line before yeah. the six and if you just count it on just to make sure make sure it's up to the flush part of the board but one two three four five six seven so i know that that is five and seven eighths okay. of an inch and that's just particular. If you wanted to go up to the six, there's nothing stopping you from going up to the six. If you just want it a, flat, a fraction bigger, yeah. you can you go can, up to the six inches. If you you want can to make do it on the guillotine, can't you? But it's just sometimes hard to see the little lines, isn't it? When it's, yes, yeah. yeah, and it's very... So when you're measuring it up, mm. if you were to try and count that yeah. going across, it can get a little bit... I mean, you can by all means do it, but I prefer to I do it that way mean. and I get a more accurate measurement. Yeah. Like I said, if you want to go up to that six, it's only like a little tiny, tiny little switch. bit of a sliver. Mm. It's entirely to you. If you want to make it easy for yourself, make it easy for yourself. Exactly. So that is the eight and a half inches by five and seven. Eight of an inch. The next card, and I'm going to go with the green one with this one. This one's going to measure in at eight inches. And again, by the same page. So if you're going to take it to the six, take it to the six. But I'm going to go with that five and seven, eight, seven. Oh, my days. Five and seven, seven eight, eight, seven inch. <laughs> so I'm going to go in at eight inches. And I'm going to do exactly the same. Or if you want to do a cheat little way, Ben, do you know oh, what you can do? Go on. Turn it on its side. And don't forget, we're just going down. If you notice, the page is going down because uh, you want yeah. it to look like a page. Yeah. I'm just going to use that this time and then just mark it off. And that's how I'm going to do that. I would say that's cheat a cheat way. way. It's making it easy for yourself, make it, isn't Yeah, it? exactly. Just yeah. make it easy for yourself. Exactly. So I know now that I've got two pieces that are measuring the same in length just slightly different in the, uh, uh, wait a minute, width. Width, width. Yeah. Thank you. So that is the eight inches by five and seven, eighth of an inch. <laughs> I wish I'd done to six now. <laughs> 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 and then the next one, the last page in there is going to be seven and a half inches. Yeah. And don't worry, I will promise you, I will, I'll repeat these measurements in for you again. I'm going to turn it to that and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to measure them up side by side and then just give it a little pencil mark. We love a crafty hack. I love a little, yeah, I'll do anything to, to make it a little bit easier for myself. I like that. Johnny says, producer Johnny says, you're using your initiative. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Write that down in your report for the month. <laughs> Debbie always uses her initiative. Oh, bless you. <laughs> now, I'm just going to make sure that I have gone to seven and a half because I realise that's slightly big. I think I did eight and a half there. Yeah. So I'll just repeat those measurements again for you. Just move the guillotine to one side. So your first piece is 10 inches by seven. Your second piece is eight and a half by five and seven eighths of an inch. <laughs> the next one is eight inches by five and seven 
eighths eight. of an inch. And the next one, I think I might, yeah, there we go, is seven and a half by, again, the five and seven eighths of an inch. Gotcha. And if you just measure them up, you can see that now you've got your little book pages that go inside your book. So we're going to do the scoring in a minute, but I've got two more pieces that I just need to cut out. Okay. And that's your guillotine, well, guillotine done for now. We'll come right. back to the, because we're going to strengthen these book pages with the beautiful patterned paper, the 12 by 12. But first things first, we need two pieces that are going to measure at four inch by one. And I'm going to use the um, spare bit that was chopped off. And I'm going to take this in. Now, this is going to be your mechanism part. So again, I'm just going to lift that leg for a second. And we're going to go into four inches by one inch. And you want two of those, um, Ben. Okay. And you can get those out of, of your waist scrap, yeah. that you've cut. So there's no need to go into another sheet of A4. You're getting all of that. And don't forget, you've got all these other pieces. And I wouldn't be, um, I literally wouldn't be throwing any of those away. I would be using those. That's what I do. I stick them in a little scrap thing. I'm just going to put those to one side. Because now what we've got is everything we need to create our uh, pop-up book card. Fab. So literally, that's what you'll end up with. And then we're going to do the scoring. Now, I don't know if anybody wants to repeat the measurements, Ben. How, how are we doing with the comments? How, has everybody I'll, got all those pieces done? Do you want to double, double check for me? Yeah, I, I mean, scoring? at the minute, I think we're all pretty good, actually. I haven't seen any, um, I haven't seen any questions come through so far. Um, the comments that I've got, just giving you a bit of time here to get your questions in if you want to. Uh, Debbie just saying, I'll definitely be going back to do this. Uh, scrap Paper Scissors says, I'm saving this show. Does someone want to go to work for me so I can stay in craft? I, mean, <laughs> I, I would, I would if, if I was nearer to you. Um, and uh, Sandra says, I'm taking notes. I'm sitting under a pile of craft stash. I don't know where anything is, but I need to do this. Um, and Lydia Tarry on Facebook says, those measurements are embedded now. That's, <laughs> that's good. That's good news. Um, let's just see as well and check in with, uh, <laughs> with Gilmore, who is uh, crafting along with us. Oh, hang on. Well, here we go. We've got a big, <coughs> big thumbs up. All the measurements make sense, Gilmore. Oh, well, I think you've muted yourself, but we'll take so the thumbs far, up. So far, so good. I do that all the time. So far, so good. Ah. <laughs> um, so, so everything good. You're all up to speed. Anything you need to ask, Debbie? No, not yet. Oh. Perfect. Stay tuned. Brilliant. I, to I, to I told you Gilmore was ace, didn't I? Up Aww. with the pace, no questions, nice and easy. I mean, what could possibly go wrong over the course of the next uh, hour and 40 minutes? Um, <laughs> as always, I mean, as I say, it looks all good as far as I'm concerned. If you do get stuck at any point, do uh, let us know and we will answer those questions for you. But if we're all good to go, let, let's move on, Debbie. Right, so we're going to take all of those pages and we're going to turn them into, we're going to actually turn them into a book page now. Yeah. So you're going to start with your outer casing, which is that 10 by 7 and this one's a straight simple fold at five inches across so you're going on the long side whether you've got a score master or a big score or a you know hunky dory scoreboard or the other scoreboards that are there on the market um or your guillotine because you can use a guillotine because there's a there's a scoreboard embedded in there, there as well uh, but we're going to take that to uh, five inches so again up to the butt of your board uh, make sure it is at the butt butt of your board <laughs> on the left hand side and we're going to score down at five inches so i'm going to score down and I do a couple of little gentle score lines and of course if you want you can do both sides if you want that perfect crease but be careful not to be too heavy handed with this um, but then you're going to fold over and we're going to turn that into that book and push it up to that side let's just make sure I've got that right there we are uh, and then give it the burnish and that creates your first book fold now we're going to go to that next second page so the next one down is your eight and a half inch by your five and seven eighths of an inch. Five and seven Five and seven eighths. Five and seven eighths. Five and seven Yeah, I know, one of those days. It's going to be one of those days. Uh, but we're going to score this in half. So yep. half of eight and a half then is. Half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. 
Yes, it is. Why did you ask me the question and then pause for a second there? As if no, you because, didn't know the because that's the bit. Did I not do all my little marking down and I scribble all my markings down? Yeah. I forgot to put the arse. Let me just show you. Scribble, uh, scribble. That's, that's my craft along. That's uh, the way I do things. I worried for a second then that I'd given you the wrong answer. No, no. And it is uh, four and a quarter yes. inches. So when you look at your board, it is literally the second notch on. Because if you think about your board between your four to your five and you've got your half, yeah. you want to go in that second track um, on from the number four. And if we do that again, and again, be gentle with this. Don't be heavy-handed. No. Um, and again, I suppose it depends on your card stock, to be fair. Um, but it's many lighter scores as opposed to a couple yes. of hefty scores, isn't I it? I always remember um, the first time Leanne told, she said, it's, you need to break the fibres of your card stock. Mm -hmm. Um, to make them bendable, to make them without cracking too much. And if you go heavy-handed like I normally do, um, that's when you'll get your cracks. So, and as you can see, I've got no cracks in that one at all. No. So that's the first page done, Ben. Yep. So move on to your next size down, which is your eight by five and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. And what's half of eight, Ben? Half. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 what? Uh, hang on a second. Half. Uh, uh, four. <laughs> Yeah, then I'm going to go in at four inches. So again, nice, gentle score lines. And if you do like to do it on both sides, that's exactly what you can do. Um, and again, I'm just going to put them in and give them a nice burnish. And again, just flatten that, making sure I've got that nice and straight. There we go. So that's the second page in there. And then your last page, which is your seven and a half by five and seven eighths. Uh, and half of your seven and a half. Now you've got to think about this one. No, I don't. I'm testing your math. 3.75. It's 3.75. Three or, in our words, three and three quarters of an Thank inch. you. Yeah. Have I passed so, my math test? Do I get a certificate? <laughs> so, in this case, when you're looking at your grids between three and four, you're actually going to go into one, two, three, four, five. It's your sixth track on, or think of it down from number four, your second track back if that makes sense for yeah. your three and three quarters and again just gentle little score lines and then we're going to fold that in as well and that is all the pages of your book fold hey. and you can see that really nicely now there visually with yeah. your uh, cardstock all perfectly done so we'll move on to these two your mechanisms now this little bit um, we're going to do, and I'll, show, I'll do it one at a time to show you what we're going to do with this one. But your main strip going four inches, you're going to take it onto the long side, so you've got your four inches. Where we're going to score this, Ben, is we're going to score the, the main strip at half an inch. So, again, up to the butt of your board, half an inch. I think I've got a, um, a, a very funny little ball tool at the end of mine. I might have to switch oh, yeah. this round. But we've got half an inch. We're going to go in at two inches, so keep it up there again, and you're going to go in at two inches. And then we're going to go, lastly go in at three and a half inches. Okay. So I'll just repeat that again. So you've got half an inch, two inches, and three and a half inches. And that one, uh, sorry, not three and a half. <coughs> half. Yes, three and a half. I said yeah, it the first time. Half. You're going to repeat that again. Half an inch. Half. Half half an inch, two inch, two inch, three, three and, and a half, half inch, Thank you very much. and that's what you're going to do. Now before we start doing the bending and the scoring, yeah. we're going to turn these onto the side. Now I'm just going to take this off for a second because I'm going to, I'm going to visually show you how we do this little bit. So I'm going to use a, pen and a pencil and a ruler, but I want to measure in at half an inch. You can actually use your glass mat, can you see on my glass mat in between there, if I just put my little pencil marks. And I'm doing this for a reason, Ben, because I want you to be able to see what we're going to do next. So I'm going to put a pencil mark, and I'm going to put mine in quite heavy so that you can visually see it. And I'll repeat that with the next one. Do talk about these glass mats being a tool, but they really are. If you haven't got a ruler or anything to hand, yeah, you're absolutely handy. perfect for that. Uh, but I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to put that uh, visually in there so you can see it. Because this next bit, we're going to take them back to the long side. We're going to put some more score lines in, but at different places. But we're only going to go halfway down. So that's why I've popped an half inch mark on the one inch strip at half an inch, because I want to show you this next little stage. So we're going to take it back on. We're going to pop it in at the long end again. And this time, we're going to put these measurements in at three quarters of an inch. And we're only going to go down to that pencil mark. 
So when you take three quarters of an inch, and I, want, I wish I could show you on my board because normally I've got a, like a one, a two, a three, and on there. But again, you're going to go in at the one, two, three, four, five, sixth grid, and we're going to go and go and score down to that pencil mark. So you're going to score at your three quarters of an inch down to the pencil mark. The next one we're going to score in is at one inch, and you're going to do exactly the same way. You're just going to score at one inch and take it to that pencil mark. And then lastly, the other one that's on this one, uh, Ben, is at one and a quarter. So one and a quarter inch, so it's the second grid in from your number one, and you're going to go down at one and a quarter. So we've put an extra three little marks in there. Now I'll try and lift it up so that you can see it. And I don't know, can you see there? You can yeah. see it, can't you? So we've got our long one, but these only go up to that pencil mark. There's a reason for that in a moment, and I'll explain. Now popping that back on there again, we're going to then take it to two and three quarters of an inch. So two and three quarters, Debbie, remember your two and three quarters, is just down to that pencil mark. So um, I'll put my nail there to stop it. So you're not going all the way down, you're only going halfway. Uh, and then we've got it at three. So again, the three inch, down to that pencil mark, put your pen, the finger there. Uh -huh. uh, and then lastly, the three and a quarter. So these are quite close together, but there is a reason for that and I'll explain a little bit more in a moment. So now when I lift that up, and I don't know if you can see there, if I tilt it, you've there got, go. you, yeah, can you see it then? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's difficult sometimes. Oh, they're perfect, if I angle it, you can see them. And that's why I've put that visual pencil mark so that you can see I've not gone further. So these have gone down, all the way down, but these have only gone to the halfway mark. And we're going to repeat that on this piece. So I'll repeat that again. We're going to go in at three quarters of an inch to the pencil mark. We're going at one inch to the pencil mark and one and a quarter to that pencil mark. Then we're going to move across. Keep it in mind, keep this up to the edge of your board. We're going to go in at two and three quarters of an inch, down to that pencil mark, three inches, down to that pencil mark, and three and a quarter, down to that pencil mark. Okay. Now we're actually gonna be snipping these in a second, so we're gonna take our little scissors, and we're going to, in fact, actually, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll pop in the folds, so those first ones that go all the way down, you want to fully, and you can burnish it. I'm just going to use my fingernails, but you're going to burnish it all the way down. And so you've got like a little, looks like a little roof. It doesn't look like a roof, yeah. yeah. And then going on to those score lines, you're going to take your little scissors and you're going to cut those score lines that you've just done down to that pencil, but you're not going to go any further. So just down to the pencil mark. And we can rub that pencil mark out in a moment. It's just a guide to show you where you're taking it. And so that you've got your three... Can you see your little three pieces there? And you're going to do exactly the same on the other side as well. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to tilt the light though, Ben, because these studio lights are incredibly bright. They are. And then I'm repeating it on the other side as well. So what you'll end up with is this little roof, but then it's got its little three slits. Can you see there? In. And that's where your pages are going to sit. And I'll explain uh, a little bit more okay. um, in a moment. We're just going to push that to one side and we'll repeat exactly the same. So put your burnish lines in the full scores. Yeah. Put those burnishes in so you've got that little roof again, like so. Mm -hmm. And then take your scissors and again, we're just going to pop those little slits down to that pencil mark. Yes. On all three. And I think after this, Ben, we'll have a pause. A break. Yeah. Let everybody catch up before we move on to... Uh, the next stage, which is where we're going to decorate the pages. And that okay. is a good point as well. I'll, I'll show you through the, um, the, 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 the deal, but uh, that's a good point to get your questions in. If you've so can any. you see now you've got two of them like that, that you've got ready. And this is where, and I'll just give you a little visual. This is this where your pages are going to sit in between those, uh, those little slits. Ah, so they're going to sit in between, which is what's going to hold them together. But we need to do a little bit more first. Before we do, uh, before I take any more extra out of there, we're going to put, we're going to decorate those pages um, because we are going to do a little bit more to this, which is where we're going to cut away some extra little pieces. But what we'll do first, Ben, is we'll decorate them and then we'll come back to these later on. So those measurements again for these, this measures at four inches by one inch. I've popped a little pencil mark at half an inch going all the way down to give me a guide to where my uh, cut lines are going to go and yep. score lines. 
Uh, but where we're going to do uh, the measurements again there, it comes in at three quarters of an inch, an inch, and an inch and a quarter. Right. But you're only going to that, that uh, pencil mark. And we'll rub that out in a moment. And then the other side is your two and three quarters of an inch, three inch, and three and a quarter. And you're going to repeat that on your other piece as well. And then you're going to take your little snippy scissors, and on those three little lines that we put extra, that is, so I don't want you cutting into that one. That's going to that's be your mechanism which holds into your book. Can you see if I hold it like that? But this is where your pages are going to sit. So that's why you only take your scissors and cut up to that pencil mark. And you repeat that on both sides, on both pieces. Gotcha. So I hope that explains it a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to little pause just for a second. And we'll come back, we'll regroup, we'll start using our papers. You need to get your 12 by 12 paper pad ready. Because we're going to do our pages that sit inside the pages of the book. So it's the actual matting and layering of them. Super duper. Nice little pause here. I'm going to go through the deal with you. So you're going to have um, three or four minutes just to catch up should you need to and get those questions in um, should you want to as well. Just before I do, lots of lovely comments coming in for Debbie's nails uh, <laughs> as, well as, the, as well as the craft along. Uh, Shadai says, loving the nails. And uh, Linne says, uh, Deb's nails always look so fab. I find myself look looking at that more than the demo. <laughs> <laughs> they are looking back. Producer Johnny was the first one that noticed, actually. I feel a little bit bad. I feel a bit bad that I didn't notice that first. See, I had them last week, but you obviously, uh, you I guys weren't here last week. No. It is literally the plainest pink ever with a little bit of glitter just on the ends. That's all it is. But you always have fab nails, Debbie, Thank so that's you. why I... I mean, you always look fab. Fab hair, fab nails, fab smile. I mean, just... Uh, let's very quickly uh, take you through the deal. So what we're going to do here is uh, bring you details on the, like the bigger bundle, okay? So where, where you're going to get the extras. So I'll take you through exactly what you're going to get. So this is the beautiful cardstock um, which Debbie's been using. Lovely pearlescent cardstock. Love the sheen on this. Um, Double-sided for you as well in those four different colours. You're going to get 24 sheets in total, 250 GSM. And if you go for this particular deal, you'll get that twice over, okay? So that's one of the extras that you'll get um, straight away. Also within your consumables, you've got the two sizes of your beautiful paper pad as well. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. Again, double-sided. The designs are, I mean, just amazing. Love the fact that you've got all of those different beautiful butterflies in there. We're sort of a bit of a, um, a muted palette, but then you've got so much going on in the background of these as well. Um, sort of images of butterflies. You've got um, musical notation going through there, some script. Um, and, and look, I mean, the designs are absolutely stunning. These, by the way, are replicated within the 12 by 12 pad um, too. So, you know what I mean? For all sorts of different sizes of cards, um, for your fussy cutting and snipping into these, these are absolutely perfect. You'll get 36 sheets there, double-sided in the 6 by 6 And I'll just quickly show you uh, the 12 by 12 pad um, again. I mean, I don't even know which is the front and which is the back because the papers are so, so gorgeous. If you're going for this deal that you can see on the screen right now, we will give you the 12 by 12 pad uh, twice over within this collection. And once again, 36 sheets you're going to get in total. Um, so it's plenty of craftability right there. It's so classy is this. I absolutely love it. Look at that one there, you know, with the, with the, um, the stamps um, in the background as well as the sort of uh, butterfly shadows. Really, really absolutely love this. Um, and twice over, you're going to get that within this collection. Also, if you go for this collection, you'll get two lots of the beautiful vellum pad and again you know this is stunning once again what we've done is we've obviously matched up the color palette we've matched up the images to work beautifully with this collection so you know perfect for your matching and layering perfect for your inserts as well lovely if you like to build those um, sort of constructions those boxes uh, using your vellum uh, as well it's a really happy collection gorgeous gorgeous uh, images on here particularly for your springtime makes you know uh, i know it's mother's day here in the uk this coming uh, sunday but you know for mother's day ideas uh, for beautiful birthday cards this is a stunning collection to go for so you get that twice over within this collection and the second one of those it's like that you're getting it for free then we come to all of the hardware and there's tons here so i'll rattle through this a little bit quicker than perhaps i would normally do stamps wise your beautiful butterflies this is like 
um, sort of, you know, you ever seen like uh, in those museums when they do the, the beautiful butterflies and you see like a, a lepidopterist uh, with all of his uh, beautiful butterflies lined up? That's what that stamp collection is like for me. You being able to create uh, loads of different butterflies in whatever colours that you want to be able to create uh, for a huge amount of projects. You've then got your butterfly kisses, which is a lovely collection of sentiments. And once again, I love the fact that um, we've tailored these for all sorts of occasions. We've given you mini verses on here. We've actually given you um, little butterflies within the sentiments themselves, so everything matches up beautifully. And again, we've tailored the sentiments to work with this collection. This is stunning. The Monarch, I mean, what a beautiful stamp that is. That is a massive stamp. Look, you can see the size of it. Uh, you know, I've got big hands. I have got big hands like spades, this guy. Uh, so you can see how big that is. A, be a, be a beautiful um, stamp to be colouring in. But then we also give you this die. If you're thinking, so that's broken, that, no. Uh, the, the, the point is we give you the two cutting edges so you've got the ability to be able to um, uh, pop this down, cut it in left, cut it in right, cut the whole thing out should you wish. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but that's all about ultimate versatility. Then we get on to the dies that you've got in this collection beautiful frames and I mean again these on their own uh, make beautiful focal points for cards add a little sentiment onto there uh, you've got a beautiful beautiful project the marvelous mariposa love this it's almost like we fashioned this on a postage stamp you've got the um, three different layers and then in the center that butterfly whose wings you can sort of tease out and pop out of your project to give that 3d effect this is gorgeous too, the perfect papillon, um, almost like you, you build a butterfly really. You've got these different layers of the butterfly. Use them individually should you wish. I mean, if you just wanted like the, um, the base here to be able to create with, you can. But once you cut the different layers, build them up to create, uh, you know, it's, look at that, that fluttering butterfly. All of those different layers of the butterfly's wings, using the cardstock that you get in this collection, stunning. You've then got the opulent edge, again, beautiful for creating uh, beautiful edges for your cards, maybe things like your memory books as well. This is lovely too, the tags and tickets. How gorgeous is that? So again, if you wanted to maybe pair up your card with a project, you can create your own um, gift tags. Love this as well, the old fashioned um, uh, ticket that you've got. So maybe you've got like a, a party you wanna make invites for. I think that'd be a lovely way to be able to, uh, to do that. Next up, um, and I can't think of any other collection where we've done this, I might be wrong. Double-sided die technology we're bringing you with the kaleidoscope. So this one here, one die cuts all of this for you. So one die cuts these two images, uh, build it up to create this gorgeous image right here. And I mean, I think it's brilliant that we've added that in there. Bear in mind, that if you haven't yet got your double-sided plates, you will need those to be able to use uh, this particular die. We have got them on the show. If you shop the show, we've got both the Gemini and the Junior double-sided dies. Then we're gonna bring you uh, this gorgeous 3D embossing folder in flight. You've got all of the detail in the background there, the swirls, that sort of lattice effect going on, and then that beautiful butterfly coming to the fore. And we're still not done because also in this collection, you're going to get a beautiful uh, selection of your um, elegant lace. That's included along with the selection of your binding ribbon, three different colors, again, all beautifully matching up with the colors that we've got in this collection. 40 of these resin brads. This is where Charlotte has to go super close up um, because within the actual brads themselves, can you see, look, 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 You've got beautiful little butterflies. I think those would be absolutely gorgeous on a project, used sparingly. I did say I'd like a pair of cufflinks with those, or maybe sort of buttons on a shirt. I think they look stunning. Um, those are included, 40 of those you'll get. And then lastly, you're gonna get also uh, 10 of your butterfly charms included too, which I think you will probably uh, use quite sparingly because they're stunning. Massive collection, as I've said. That bundle that you're seeing on screen right there, bundle is the big one for $147.99 platinum or $184.76. You get two of the 12 by 12s, two of the A4 card packs, and you get two of the eight by eight vellum packs as well. And it's like you're getting the second pack for free. Um, if you do want the smaller bundle, uh, you can go for that as well, uh, where you just get one set of each of the consumables. Right, let's have a quick look. We're all good, we are, Johnny. You've uh, taken the words right out of my mouth. Uh, Shadai says, uh, that is why I always call her Fab Debbie. Everything is fab on her, Aww. my Lord Ben. She is fab, I always say that. Aww, um, and Barbara Rostovsky on YouTube says, ooh, cute butterfly buttons. Yes, those buttons, the brads, are super cute uh, and stunning. We are all up to date. Uh, Gilmore is looking chilled and uh, ready for action, so. Where are we up to now, Debbie? 
So we're going to choose now your papers that will go with your pages. So how I looked at it was I looked at the colour of each of my pages for the paper pad. I mean, that paper pad is just absolutely divine. Um, so I've gone and chosen colours that I thought would match. So that lovely cream, ivory kind of colour, I've gone with this beautiful pattern. Ooh, yes. And I'll just show you there so you can see. I thought it brought out the colours of that one really lovely. So I've gone with, um, and I've gone with two pieces because we're going to cut down as matte and layers. And I, I'm going to do on both sides. It also strengthens your book. Um, now the paper, the cardstock itself is a good weight. Is it about two? Is it about two fifty? This Ben. The cardstock's two fifty. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, but I just want to strengthen it a little bit more because there's uh, extra additional pages. But again, I've just chosen colours that I thought brought the colour out beautifully with the matching paper. So with that one, I've gone with a peachy pink tone for the smaller mm. page. Um, I thought this one brought out that beautiful lilac in that design. So again, I've chosen that one. Um, and it's just a case of choosing your colours that work. And again, the green one, I just thought that one brought out a little bit of the green in there yeah. as well. So that's the one that I've chose for that inner and outer page as well. So first things first, Ben, we'll start with that largest one. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down to size. Now, if you remember what we started with initially is actually just a five by seven card blank so we know for a fact that when you're coming down and i'm only just going to mat and layer it once because we've got the beautiful card stock that frames it and the paper's going to frame it beautifully so we're going to trim this down to measure at and if you think of this five and five and by seven we're going to take this to four and three quarters by six and three quarters and you need four pieces of that so we're going to bring in our guillotine again and I'm going to speed things up because my two sheets, I'm actually going to push together. No uh, and I'm going to cut them. Now, people, some people don't like to do this method. I know this there's certain members of the team that don't like this method what, um, just slips? because it could slip oh, okay. um, so they prefer to do the sheets individually but I'm fairly confident with uh, my skill skills of holding it into place if anyone uh, can Debbie can <laughs> so we're going to go in at four and three quarter inches and we're going to trim that down mm -hmm. and then we're going to turn it onto the long side and again this uh, this time we're going to go to six and three quarter quite like that butterfly so I want that to be main focus on there so the six and three quarter mark on your guillotine and that's created me two pieces straight away of that same pattern that's going to sit either on the outside and the back of it but I also want to cut the inside panels don't forget you've got gorgeous cut paper don't be throwing that away that's something that you can use at a later date um, and I quite like actually to be fair I love the flowers and the butterflies on that one Decisions, decisions. What's a girl to do? I know, what is a girl to do? So I'm going to go in with that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I know, the sorry, you don't get the sound effects there. It sounded but, a bit um, like Yoda, didn't it? <laughs> mm. So again, okay, four and three quarter inches by, uh, oh, look at me, I'm at it again. Mm. 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 Yeah, I'll go with that. Oh, shall we go with that? Mm. Mm. No, I'll go with that one. <laughs> So I've got my two pieces that measure in at four and three quarter inches mm. by six and three quarter inches. And when you bring your cardstock in, you'll see that it fits beautifully into there. Now, before we stick it down, I'm going to distress the edges as well. Oh, yes. This is vintage, beautiful papers. But I'm going to vintage it even more and soften it. Soften those, those straight edges. You could tear into it if you wanted and curl it. Create that lovely vintagey look. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll use some ink in a moment. So I'm just going to put those to one side. Four pieces, four and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. Gotcha. So the next size down, I think if I believe rightly, is my purple one. <coughs> Excuse me again. Then, uh, so now when you think about these, obviously the measurements that we've done, uh, this was the eight by five and seven inch, seven eighths of an inch. I'm at it again. <laughs> But if you think about this one, yeah. uh, oh sorry, this was the eight and a half inches. So we know that when we've scored, it's four and a quarter. So if you're taking it down a quarter of an increment, you know that you want to measure this in. And I'm just going to get the ruler just to be on the safe side to make sure I've got the right piece there. Uh, yeah. So we're going to measure in at um, about four and a, yeah, we're going to go at four, four in. Four. Yeah, four, because it's four and a half, four and a quarter, isn't it? We're going to go at four, yeah. uh, but exactly the same again. Now, this one, the five and the seven eighth of an inch, or five and three quarters of an inch, this is why I'm saying if you've gone with that six inches, it would have made it life so much, uh, much easier. Uh, but I'm 
Never want to do things by... We like a challenge. Uh, like a challenge. But I'm going to go in with me. And again, I need four sheets of this. Uh, I'm only going to use one piece, though, because I do believe, I think, remember rightly, I can get it out of one piece, this one. Uh, so I'm going to go in at... And we said four and a quarter, so we're going to go to four, aren't we? So yes. we're going to go in at four inches. Um, and I'm just going to take it just slightly down... So instead of five and three quarters, I'm just going to go in between the half inch and the three quarters. And I'm just going to trim that down the size. And just so that you can see, fits on perfectly and beautifully onto there. Yeah. And I want four pieces of that, Ben. So because I know that I've got out of that one strip, I can get this out of the one piece of uh, paper. Um, so again, um, just in between the three quarters, half an, uh, sorry, five and a half and three quarters. I'm just going to measure that at halfway mark again. But again, I've already cut it to, to the strip, so I don't need to do that again. If I just show you what I mean by that, I know that I don't have to do anything more and you've got your two pages. So we're just going to repeat that again. So we're going to go it to four inches. Choices, choices. I'm going to have those two beautiful butterflies. Four inches. And again, just between the halfway mark of the five and a half to the five and three quarters for that perfect mat and layer. Those butterflies are absolutely beautiful. They are beautiful. Um, Such a and again, collection. I'm just going to go in halfway. So I've got perfect. And again, if we just bring these in for a second so you can see it, I've got all the perfect measurements for the mm -hmm. inside. And I like to decorate those panels, even though we're not going to be using them mainly, but I like it to be fully decorated yeah. so the outside and the inside is going to be done. Again, I'm not sticking them down just yet because we're going to distress a little bit using some ink. We're going to move down to that next size, which, if I remember rightly, was my green one. So again, move all your little spare pieces to one side. We're going to use those again. I've got a box full of scraps, you know, from vintage because I had to order myself another pad because I've literally gone through a pad. Already? Since, yeah, since launch. Honestly, I love this paper pad. It's just beautiful. So I ordered myself another one the other day uh, because it's just absolutely divine. Uh, now, moving on to that next size down. We said this one was eight inches, uh, which we now know is four because we've halved it, haven't we? We've scored it in half. Yeah. So we know that we want to take it down to three and three quarters of an inch. And exactly the same in the length because we know that that's five and seven eighths of an inch. So we're, we're going to do exactly the same again. So, I mean, I love it. This one oh. is one of my favourite sheets, this Ben. Yeah. Love this one. But I'm going to go to four and three quarters of an inch. And again, that halfway mark in between the five and a half to the five and three quarter inches. Just take that to the halfway mark. I know he's going to fit perfectly and sits perfectly and frames beautifully yes. perfectly in there and again look we can get this out of that one strip again i'm not having to measure because i've already got that piece done but i'm just going to that halfway mark and that's and you're going to repeat that so we're going to do that again three and three quarters of an inch and take it to that halfway mark between the five and a half to the five and three quarters to get that perfect Perfect mat and layer. Don't forget as well, if you are ordering this today, the bundle on screen gives you more of the paper <coughs> and card. If, you, if you've already got the collection, you can buy more of the paper and the card individually if you need to top up like uh, our Debbie over there. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I know I've got all the perfect measurements for both inside and out. Again, not sticking them down because we're going to do a little bit of inking around the edges. And then lastly, on the last sheet... Um, this one, if we remember rightly, measures, it was a seven and a half piece that we've scored into half, three which three makes three, three and three quarters. So we're going to down to three and a half. And if you just take it, just to make sure that you can see the three and a half is the perfect one. We're doing exactly the same measurements the other way. So again, let's go in. We'll take that beautiful one to three and a half. And we'll go in that same place at that halfway point between the five and a half to the five and three quarters. You do that for two pieces so that you've got, and I'll show you again, the perfect mat and layer that sits beautifully onto the page. And you want four of those again. So again, you can see out of your, car, out of your paper, yeah. you're going to get quite a nice bit on there. With, And I'm not ruining this piece. This is a nice big piece that I can still use in another project. Um, so I'm not ruining anything there. But again, we're just going to go into that halfway point. You see, five and a half to five and three quarter inches like so 
and there we've got our four pieces that are the perfect mats and layers that are going to sit on the outside and the inside and again we're going to give that a nice little inking in a moment okay so is everybody okay with those measurements um i think we are uh, lots of you we're just checking with gilmore in a, in a second loads of you just um loving debbie's uh paper choices uh, and Lorna Jane Hunter, welcome to you. You just said, uh, hi everyone, it's a bit late today, but I had a quick recap and I am all up to date. Yay! Uh, Mary Lee saying, great pattern paper choices, Debbie. Questions, get those in. We, on the socials, we're all good so far. Um, if you are crafting along, though, like Lorna Jane, I know Marta is as well, do make sure uh, that you send in your pictures at the end of the show as well. Let's go and check in with um, our friend uh, Gilmore. Um, how are you getting on, Gilmore? Do you need to ask Debbie anything or is it all uh, tickety-boo? I did need to ask her, is it two of each of the 12 by 12s? Uh, only on that very first outer casing. So do you know your main uh, card, the 5 by 7 yeah. that's the only one that you'll need two sheets of. The rest of them will just take one and you'll get lots of spare bits, spare off cuts that you can use for future projects. But that first one for the main, main basis of the pop-up card um, will take two sheets. Yeah. Thank you. You're Please welcome. Is the, um, is the pace okay for you, Gilmore, as well? It's perfect. She's a great teacher. Uh, she is a great teacher. She is a great teacher. Um, I can sort of hazard as to how you're getting along, because as I say, I can see you on my screen. You look to be smiling quite a lot, so I, I take that as a good sign. Yeah, it is a good sign. It's, a, it's beautiful. I mean, I'm looking forward to this. As, as complicated as it looks, she's making it very easy. And, yes, and that's what and we pretty. love. That is what we love. It may look complicated, but breaking it down, Debbie's, uh, like you say, an excellent teacher. Uh, and we can't wait to see what uh, you create in just over an hour's time. So all good stuff. Uh, Gilmore is up to speed. And I've just got a note through from uh, Rachel, who's on the socials today, saying that she thinks everyone is OK there as well, which is brilliant. Um, so, yes, we will move on. As we've said, though, at any point that you get stuck or you want a uh, repetition of anything, uh, do ask. But uh, kudos to you, Debbie, because it's, uh, it's all good out there at the moment. Everyone's oh, very bless. happy. You know what? I love teaching. I, mm. I, I haven't got a teaching background as such like our lovely Jan has, you know, in, in schools and things. But I've taught craft for a long time. Um, took over from a card class that my friend, my, my best friend Linda used to run yeah. um, and taught there. And obviously working in Chesterfield, I taught many classes in the two years that I was there, um, weekly classes that I used to teach, and I loved doing that little bit. You know, you I, I really that a bit nerve-wracking in front of no. all of those people? No, you just no. always enjoyed it? Always yeah, I've had my own retreats and things like that. I've had a, I did a retreat. Um, I actually did that at Lydon St. Anne's, loved that, and yeah. I did a full weekend um, of teaching a full weekend of crafts uh, with 25 lovely ladies um, who are still in contact with some of them to this day. So, yeah, oh. absolutely love, well, love it. But, you yeah. do it very well, Thank and as you. I say, the comments are pouring in uh, about how much everyone is enjoying it and the collection as well and I won't go through the boards but I'll just reiterate you can pick it up right now uh, Miriam saying the papers are lovely and the majority of people who are buying this afternoon as well are doing the best thing and going for that bundle where you get the extra so you'll be two 12 by 12 paper pads you'll get two of the um, A4 card selections as well that beautiful card sort of per lesson card and you'll also get uh, two lots of the 8x8 eight eight vellum pad and it works out if you do the math on it basically you're getting that second vellum pad for free within this bundle uh, lots of you just chatting about that too Mary Lee just saying the lace and charms in this collection are so beautiful I'm going to use some of them as charms on a bracelet that's a cracking idea I love that. Um, the whole collection is elegant and also timeless. It is good forever. And that's the point. Butterflies will never go out of fashion, nor will this collection. So uh, make sure you grab it today. Stock up on those consumables. Uh, and I think we are, in fact, I know we are, because I can see that Debbie is lined up over there uh, with all of her ink pads. So we must be getting ready to add a bit of a, uh, a sort of vintage feel to this, are we? Just a little ink. Mm. Yeah, it just softens around the edges. So yeah, just take your inks. Uh, these are the reasons why I chose the inks. Um, although I can't find the studio your um, crushed velvet it's had legs and it's Ooh. walked so I'm having to do with plum pudding for this one unless you've got one hiding underneath there Ben uh, so I'm going to use the sandstorm and the reason I've used the sandstorm uh, for this paler piece what did you say you wanted uh, uh, crushed velvet Oh, you never let me down, Ben. I never. You never let me down. Thank never you do. so much. You okay. are very welcome. Thank you very much. But yeah, I've chosen uh, crushed velvet, grasshopper, pink tulip and sandstorm because I thought, again, they matched. I've gone with colours that I thought would match uh, the particular ones, the colourways. And all I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm just taking it and I'm just inking around the edges to soften the edge of the cardstock. Um, oh, should I say the papers? Yeah. And it just gives it a little nice... Um, little bit like a vintagey feel to it as well but without being too grungy yeah you know, I didn't want to go down the lines of being really grungy with this one because 
just because. It's a sort of ages a bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it just gives it a little age, age feel. Yeah. Which is why if you do love your tearing, and I do normally, but I know it's not everyone's taste, so I, I stayed away from it this time. Um, I know it's not everybody's taste. You know when you tear your paper and you give it that really old crinkly, yeah. um, worn look? I do love that technique. You mean like, so you could use like a little paper crimper maybe? Is that yes, you yeah, you could do, yeah that, and that'll give you a whole new uh, meaning of vintage because mm. it will look lovely, yeah. So you could use those as well. Depends on how vintage you want to go. Exactly, and I don't want to go too mad. Um, and again, I suppose it depends, but I'm just going to, I'm going to do it around all of mine. Um, and I am using my finger daubers, but you can use your round circular ones um, but I'm just wanting to soften those edges without going too mad or mental with it but again it's a personal choice that one yeah personal choice if you need blending tools by the way we have got those on the um on the show for you as well with their uh, refill so you shop the show and you can pick those up as well um thank you betsy as well she says ben could you please ask the team to create a paper with ladybugs strawberries and bees on Ooh. Oh, so like insects of the garden maybe is that that kind of um what you think in insects and items you grow in the garden oh well i will i like that johnny but i think it's been done a bug's life, he just said. Um, I will pass it on. We'll, well, I will send that on to, uh, on to Leanne and, um, yeah, see what she says. Feel free to always send in suggestions because we, uh, we always do read them. Whether or not they happen or not is another thing. But I will definitely pass that on for you, Betsy, uh, next time I see Leanne. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if this stage is not for you with giving her this softening, softening edge, mm -hmm. you can skip this bit. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just doing it for a little bit of um, um, just a nicer finish on the edge of the papers. And if you aren't doing that, you can be sticking down your pages now. Once you've done that, you can be sticking them down. Choice of glue is entirely up to you. I've used all purpose for the wiggle time. Yep. And I'm just going to show you now. Um, but you can be doing that stage once you've done them. And that's all you're going to do with these pages. And again, like I said, it's just that extra little finishing detail i'm going to go with that lovely oh i should have put that outside actually oh i can turn it around in a minute don't worry uh because i do like those i think they're beautiful oh it's fine they're on all of them <laughs> it's fine <laughs> it's fine Sorry, i'm, I'm always okay i don't have to worry too much but again it just it's i suppose this bit is the personal preference to how you decorate it but i want the inside of the the you know the uh, the pop-up book card to look just as nice as the outside as well so which is why it's there's a lot of decoration mm. and we will use i know we've only got an hour left but we will get down to using quite a lot of the elements that are in there i feel like though you've done quite a lot in the first hour and you've done like the main sort of construction and the main measurements and bits and pieces of it the, the main sort of bulk of it's done isn't it yes it is yeah mm. it'll be the rest will be that decoration and to be fair i've only really decorated uh, the front cover and the inside of the inside smallest page so that's our first outside panel done and then you're just going to repeat that with all your panels so again choosing the colors that will work i've gone with a crushed velvet just to bring out the little bit of purple in this and it just is absolutely beautiful yeah. Lord, honestly i adore these Do you know what i love paper. most as well with this and, and i think you sort of are showcasing it brilliantly here as well because with all of our collections i just love how you've got all of the different like this one for example all of the different colors within all of the butterflies that you've got in the papers but then you're never stuck for your color combinations nope. because all of the um bell and perthy matches and then all of the cardstock all the main colours from the butterflies matches in the cardstock, so it makes it really easy to craft with. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think sometimes people do get a bit stuck with colour, don't they? Yeah. What goes with what, but this, is, this makes it very easy. And you could, you know, if you didn't want to use the paper, you could use vellum for the inside panels of the books. Oh, nice. You know, the vellum would look lovely as well, so yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'll be ordering, I'm not going to lie, I'll order the this paper is just divine it is gorgeous. i'm so glad we haven't you know i know we i know we had a massive quantity um we've learned from past mistakes and i say past mistakes where we've only ordered so many and it's only been on a one print run uh, again it is only on a one print run but we've actually got quite a lot of this beautiful um it's just stunning just absolutely stunning now i'm going to put this on the outside back part uh, again if you wanted to decorate the inside outside panels you can do if you want to sherry um, was just asking did you ink all of the four pieces of the cardstock she says i zoned out momentarily yes no i have i've, I've inked all of it's them up, up to you though isn't it's it That's it's, you yeah, it's to totally a uh, i i personally believe totally your own choice if you want if you don't like the inking technique around yeah. the edge um that's entirely up to you but i have done it with all four pieces 
Uh, so that is my second page complete, uh, Ben. So we'll start with that one. Uh, again, you can see just how nice it gives it a really nice, it draws into that design that you've cut into, the paper that you've cut into, uh, which is why I do like to do that technique. And I just, it's a nice little finishing touch. Yeah. Yeah. So again, that's the second one complete. So again, when you've got it into place, you've got them positioned perfectly. I'm just checking on both sides. So you've got the first panel, the second panel, and we're going to complete this third one. So this one is my green one. So I'm going to move on to the grasshopper. I'm just going to clear that up though because I can see I've got a little bit of purple on there and I'll end up transitioning, knowing my, my look, I'll end up uh, transitioning some of that onto my green and I don't want that. So I'm just going to clean up in between. So move on from the crushed velvet to the grasshopper. So again, let's push that there. And I'm going to do all four pages okay. again. It doesn't take long to be fair, Ben. It's That's just it. a quick touch around the edge. Um, Mary Lee said, loving the vintage. Look, the butterflies are gorgeous in this collection. I ordered extras of all of the paper pads. And I love that the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 pads are 36 double-sided sheets, um, which is, yes, true enough. And again, great for the fact that you've got like the, the mini version. It's the shrunk down version in the 6 by 6. Not like, you know, we've just taken a corner of the 12 by 12 and stuck it in a card pad. You've got the shrunken down version. Yeah. Um, and Mary also just saying, I love how inking the edges does make the papers look even more vintage. Yes. It's something which takes so little time to do but it adds so much to the final look yeah absolutely and that's why I, I prefer that so yeah a great great way of uh, putting that actually yeah um, and again you can see that took all a couple of couple of minutes if yeah that. not even that yeah not even that so again we're just going to stick all the panels on so you literally just uh, and this is where you get the strength as well you're giving you're giving your project some rigidity yeah um so again just put the outer ones on and then the inner ones on as well and it's as simple as that if you need more glue as well by the way on the show we've got your uh, all-purpose glue in a deal we've also got your uh, tacky glue too if you want to grab that to uh, buy two get one free deal we've got it all on today all on we have indeed uh, got the double-sided plates on the show for you as well if you are going for this collection you haven't got those bear in mind the kaleidoscope die um, is a double-sided um plate so you will need your uh, plates for that we've got the junior and the gemini plates available on the shoe so make sure you uh you pick those up if you haven't yet got them. Right, so oh, butterflies the right way around, oh. Debbie. Get that the right way around. There we go. So that's our uh, third page complete. Yeah. And oh, then lastly, wow. and I'll just give that a little quick wipe again because I don't want any of the green going onto the pink. So it's just a bit of cleaning in between. So we're going to move on to uh, the pink tulip. Um, and again, it just, it, it was the closest colour that I could think would work. The orange was a bit too bright, um, but the pink just gave it a really nice uh, little finish there. So again, I'm just going to go around all the edges and just frame that. Mm. And then I'll do the same with that one. And like I said, a couple of minutes job um, for a really nice result. Uh, Lorna Jane says, I have the papers now and they are gorgeous. There's plenty, so I don't have to be precious. Pr precious? -ish? Precious? 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 My precious. Uh, I don't have to be precious and I can actually use them. It's, yes, it's always good, isn't it, when you, can <laughs> when you can buy the papers and use them. But I know what you mean because so many of you do like to buy our uh, papers and you end up just stroking and. Oh, sniffing. don't. I know exactly. I'm, I'm the same. I am the same. I'll, 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 I love papers, um, 12 by 12, any kind of papers, papers with foiling. I'm just addicted to papers. Um, and sometimes it's very hard to push yourself to use them because you don't want to. You're that's what they're there for, them. though. They're exactly, that's what they're there for. Oh. Uh, but I can promise you, I've got a ton of hunky-dory. I found them, actually, when I was just finishing clearing up the rest of the remnants from the old craft room. Yeah. Uh, and I found a ton of boxes and well, you gave some to boxes. me. Me and Daisy were crafting. I know. Some oh, stuff bless you. Honestly, time. I just found loads, Ben, and I'm like, oh my God, duplicates. It's no wonder because I kept thinking, I use those for best. Never happened. For best. For best. For best cards, you know, for best cards. Yeah. A bit like when you use your, you know, your posh dresses for best. And they sent like you send the best. Yeah, you send the best. Yeah. Uh, and I never use them because I just sit and look at them and think, nope, nope, I'm not. So again, I'm just going to give that a little coverage with the glue. And then that is all of our uh, paper panels used and done and dusted. Beautiful. And we're ready to 
start doing some of the die cut elements because I'm going to do all those bits first before we actually construct and put this in. But there you go. You've got all your pieces, oh, all your panels, yeah. all your pages done. Um, and I, like I said, I just think it gives it a nice finish. Even though you're not going to see much of it, it gives it a really nice finish. And it also lends a bit of rigidity to your project when you're done. So that's all your bits done there, Ben. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a bit of die cutting. We'll yep. get some of the elements used in the beautiful collection. Um, and then we'll come back to these and how you put them together oh, in yes. your book before we start decorating. Excellent. Is that okay? Uh, that is. It's always, always all good. Um, uh, as I say, and it all looks good on the uh, front of the socials coming in as well. Everybody seems to be uh, up to speed and to be uh, crafting along with us, which is, uh, which is great to hear. Any questions, please do get those in and we'll answer them over the uh, last 50 minutes or so. Now, as I mentioned, it might just be worth showing you the double-sided plates. I know a lot of you will already have these, but this is... Uh, as I said, I'm sure it's the only collection that we've done with double-sided plates within it. Um, so if you are getting this, the Kaleidoscope die will require you uh, to have double-sided plates because um, it's what they work with, basically, um, and you will need to grab the Gemini plates for your Gemini or your Junior. Uh, we've got both in stock for you. So these are your uh, cutting plates, double-sided for your Gemini. Great price on these today as well. Really great price, actually. They're normally over £30, over $40.00. Platinum today is 16 pounds, 80 pence, $21.60. Um, so grab these, add these into your basket today uh, to go with this collection. Really great deal. Um, and you know, maybe if you're looking to get some uh, new double-sided plates, great day to pick these up anyway. We've also got the, uh, the junior double-sided plates for you as well. If you wanna go for those uh, two plates for again, a brilliant price. Uh, and of course, you know, if you want to use these in your Gemini, you can pop these in sideways, of course, as well, if you wanted to do it that, that way. Uh, hang on, do you get both? Do you? Do you? What's that? Oh, you, you, get the, you get the Junior and the Gemini plates for £16, platinum. Twenty-one dollars. Are you joking me? That is what you call a great bundle. Both of them you get for six. What? That's I cannot believe that. Sixteen pounds eighty platinum. Twenty-one dollars sixty. Go go go. Uh, that is. Um, I can't believe that. I can't, I can't, I can't believe that. Um, grab them whilst they are there at that price. I wrote them down as individual deals when I saw the price. I couldn't believe it. I could not. What? <laughs> George, oh, George will be in in a minute. I'll let him pick those up. Uh, right. We are. <laughs> we're going back to Debbie. I think we are all good actually. Yep, we're up to date. Everybody's happy. Um, so, Debbie, we are going to be doing some uh, die cutting now. Yeah, correct? I'm going to use. Oh, so my personal ones that I chose for this, uh, for the decoration. I'm just going to grab my other one so I can show. Yeah, are. Um, I've gone for the uh, double-sided uh, kaleidoscope butterfly, which we'll come to in a moment. The perfect papillion. I just love the papillon. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to use this die over and over and over again. Just glorious. Only once on this one. Um, I've gone for the opulent edge because I thought the decoration looks really nice with that opulent edge as well. And then I've used the tags and tickets and I've used the opulent frame. And then also, did I use the opulent frame? Yes, she did, Debbie, use the opulent frame. You did, didn't and you? then the butterfly kisses as well. Uh -huh. um, so there, that's the stamp set. So those are the ones that I've chosen to use. Um, but we're going to start with, we'll start with a perfect papillon. Very papillon. 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 So beautiful. He's just gorgeous. He's perfect. He is perfect. Like a builder butterfly, isn't it? Is it what he? Like a builder butterfly, really. Yes, it is. Absolutely. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, um, Ben. So I'm just going to grab my. Oh, where have you gone, scissors? There you are. Uh, <laughs> can't get them out of my bag. I have to use my little ones. Did you so we... Where are my scissors? My scissors, they're oh, underneath they're the thing, but I couldn't, find, I couldn't get them out for some reason. Oh, they were right. stuck. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go choose for a uh, solid cream yep. background. Uh, I'm going to go in with the green. Where's my pet? 
let me grab this is when you're going to use all your odds and sods and things like that but mm -hmm. we're going with the green for the next one down so we'll go with the green again this will be your personal choice choose your colors again to what works for your particular design you might have gone with a different color design uh, for your center stage but my center panel is pink um, so, actually, now I've said that, I'm not going to use that pink, I'm going to use the purple. Where's that purple gone? Oh, now then, where are you? Purple, purple, yep, there we go. So, we're going to go in with the purple being the delicate uh, butterfly feature. So, I'm going to put those to one side. Uh -huh. um, and I've chosen the reason those three colours is because, if you see, see my inside panel, it's the pink. And I thought, if I use pink, it get a little bit lost in the papers. Hence why I've used the three matching colours that are on the outer pages and it draws your eye into that beautiful butterfly. I see. That's why I've done that. That, that was my reasoning behind it. Um, but again, just use some low tack tape for this bit. So let me go in and as I'm just going to hold sticking, those down. By the way, nobody else could believe the price of the bundle. The double but. plate bundle. So that is now flying out the door. I think you guys, I think you guys made the mistake that I made and probably went, oh yeah, it's just for one or the other. It's for both. It is for both. John's been in, by the way, and picked up all of the, the card, which I threw all over the floor. He didn't look, he did not look very impressed by that. What, did he not look impressed by? We know that my card, I just, I tore it up. Oh, and that it you came threw it? And oh, you get getting tearing off. Oh. Yep. Yep. You see, that's normally me. What, tearing up cards and chucking them on well, the floor? Well, I don't tear things. I just oh. push things off. I know there's a bin here, but yeah. I still go like that. Yeah. Swoop and push them off. You need a bigger bin. I need a bigger bin, yeah. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. So sweep it off. Made me laugh because when I was down at Obby Maker last week, I asked for a bin. Do you know what they fetched me? What? <laughs> this big metal bin. <laughs> they were as big as me. Like a mini skip. <laughs> well, like a skip. And I just went like that oh, and everything fell in. That's what we need. <laughs> Perfect. That's what, that's what I need. Oh, I'm telling you, I need one of them at all. Oh, it did make me <laughs> laugh. It did. <laughs> what was that? John just said there's a skip out the back you can roll in if you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll tell John. you what, I'd keep John happy if I did. I would definitely keep John happy if I uh, used a great big industrial bin because I know him. I know he shakes his head every time I'm in building. I know. Because I am a messy crafter. I'm not going to lie. I am uh, naturally messy. That's just who I am as a person. Um, not anymore in my craft room, though. Oh, no, because you've got your neat and tidy. No, anymore in the craft room, no. But the thing is, I always say, if you're not, you're not making a mess, you're not having fun, are you not? So, exactly. You know. <laughs> I make a mess while I'm in the craft room. But yeah. then when I'm, I always make sure, before I've finished, before I leave, even as tired as I can be sometimes, when I've been in craft room for a long time, mm. um, I am determined to keep it nice and tidy. So, no, regardless, I will tidy up, even if it means putting the Uber on, at ridiculous times of the morning, early hours of the morning. You're not one of those midnight <laughs> vacuum cleaners, are you? <laughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> only, only when needs must. To be fair, it's quite a silent over mine. It's not, it, it's not very noisy. Is it as silent as your new heat gun that you got? <coughs> not quite. Uh. Not quite. Now, look, beautiful. Each one of those works gorgeous on their own. I just think it's just a beautiful collection. But of course, like you've just said, Ben, it is a builder element. Um, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of uh, tape down the centre of his body. Yep. And I'm going to layer them up. And um, this is just absolutely glorious. So again, perfectly positioned. And it really is the perfect papillon. Perfect papillon. Papillon. And he is gorgeous. So it's look at that, how beautiful. Amazing schmetterling. Absolutely. And you could use these a few more times if you wanted and get a really nice, uh, you know, a nice um, flight, yes. a nice depth there. But again, I'm happy with that one. So I'm going to move on to the um, kaleidoscope. Love this one. Absolutely adore this one. This is the one. double sided one, the isn't it? The double sided one, mm. yes, absolutely. Now, thinking about my outer page, so my outer page is. Um, cream and green so i wanted this one to look really nice together so i've actually used cream yeah and green cream and so green. cream and green yeah absolutely so and again the perfect thing about this one is the double-sided technology so yes. the pattern that you've got and that's why that fabulous deal that you showed us earlier with the um but no! 
the beautiful bundle, yeah. you need those plates because this has got technology which cuts out on this side, but also more detailed on the other side as well. Um, and as you know, or if you're new to Crafters Companion, it is painted te technology uh, by ourselves. Um, and it just means that you can get this done, this particular die cut done in one fail swoop. Mm. Uh, and that's what I love about it. So I'm just going to measure my piece of cardstock. Um, I'm going to have the detailed part in cream. And I'm going to have the more solid one um, with the green. Kay. So bringing in... Oh, now, what did I do with my double-sided plates? Got um, some plates over here if you want to borrow them. Oh, I know. I oh, I've, 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 I've found them. I've found a great them. deal today. Okay. <laughs> I've got them. Oh, you got I know, them. you've got a great deal. Oh, yeah. uh, so we're going to bring those in. So we've got one green double-sided cutting plate here. I'm going to pop my green down onto the top of it and the solid part down onto the top of it. You can actually hold it in place so it doesn't move with a little bit of low tap tape in the area that it doesn't cut. And there's little areas, you'll see that the outside cutting edge comes around this edge. Yeah. Um, so again, you can hold it down and pop your tape. I want the cream on the top, so the cream's going to go onto that top. I personally, myself, hold a little bit of tape just to stop my cardstock from moving. But then I'm going to bring in that other cutting plate and we're going to pop that on top. And then the only two plates that you need this time now are your outside cutting uh, platforms, plates, shims, um, with your Gemini, whether it be a large one or your small one, and you're going to sandwich that into those two plates so that your clear plates are on the outside, uh, the bottom and the top, so to speak, with the green ones in the middle. And that's as simple as that technology goes, um, literally, quite literally. Quick question here about the double-sided yes. plates. Marie says, uh, hi guys, I'm enjoying the show. Fabulous. Uh, could I ask about those double-sided plates? I've never seen them before. Also, Debbie, how can I get a pokey tool similar to yours, says Marie. <laughs> I get asked this question a lot. <laughs> I had it bespokely made. Bespokely? Uh, bespokely made with a pen. With a pen. I had a pen. So it's me little... And that's why... Only because I always lose poker tools and I wanted something to be distinctive mm. so that I knew if it wasn't being lost by myself ah. or it was being tea-leafed, um, things like that could happen. Um, I just had my own little one made. And it was by... In fact, it was actually... I'm allowed, I'm allowed to mention Sheila. Right, I may as well, go on. Yeah, it was yeah. Sheila's partner. Do you know Sheila who used to work for Uncle Dory and now works for that oh, place? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it was her partner. Oh, there you go. Um, so that's who did it for me. Yeah. Um, and the double-sided plates. Double-sided uh, plates. never seen them before. You absolutely need these if absolutely you're using the double-sided dies. Absolutely need them. What a great time to come in. What <laughs> can I just say, the if deal. you've never seen these before, uh, for the the bundle deal that you just shown because these are the Gemini um, junior size yep. um, and then you're getting the larger ones you as are. well. When you're using double-sided technology, that. the platform that you would do is with your double-sided plates is that you sandwich that die and your two pieces of cardstock in between them so they're sandwiched in there. Yep. Uh, they're super tough so they're a lot, lot tougher than your normal plates. I want you to bear in mind this is a die that's got two die cuts on one die so it's got the top and the bottom cut. If you was to pop it in, into this platform you're going to damage this and yes. you're going to damage this so i wouldn't use it that's why you must 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 have with double-sided technology you must have those plates and it's just to protect your plates longevity as well they're super super tough um but they're perfect for all our double-sided technology because when you think about it it's cutting two pieces of cardstock Absolutely. from one die mm. on both sides and it's still every time i say it i always remember the first time they told us about it Blew my mind then, still blows my mind now. And I just think, why did, why did nobody think of that before? Yeah. It's, it means that there's less space it takes up when it comes to dies. Because this particular design cuts both of them in one go. So I only need one die. Time perfect. saving. Absolutely perfect. Um, and um, less space it takes up and it's very quick. It's done yeah. and dusted very quickly. So one thing I am going to tell you is don't do what I was just about tempted to do. And I was tempted to bang like I normally do with my dies, um, you've got two cutting edges, so please don't do that. There are little release holes at the back of it. Um, so again, just push out until it's released and you can get your pocket tool underneath it. And I'm just going to take this carefully. I'm going to do this bit carefully, Ben, but just release it. And it's got the two pieces there. And all I'm going to do is clean out that little piece. All the bits that it's die cut, give a little die cut. We've, we've got, have we got these on the show today? The die cleaning uh, brush? Or uh, I did not actually. No, not on the Debbie, show. Debbie can't seem to hold theirs in one pill. It seems bouncing out my hand there. Uh, but it cleans all your die cuts um, very quickly. Instead of having to poke out 
lots and lots of pieces. Yeah. And you know how much I hate pork in Ben. Oh I'm, dear. I, I, honestly, I say, or I say ever such a lot. I don't like the pork in uh, part of it. I enjoy it. You do. You find it very oh, therapeutic, very don't you? Therapeutic. To I do. don't. I'm, oh. a, I'm wanting to do it quickly, and um, mm. I'm not kidding. I just think I could think of better things to do than yeah. poking out little pieces. Yeah. And but that's why my dye cleaning brush comes in handy. Well, well, it won't take everything out, but no, it'll take the majority out. the majority. Out. No, yes. I love to spend an afternoon just piece by piece by piece <laughs> by piece. Now, when by I bring piece. this in, you can see my two pieces cut. Yep. Um, you're just going to simply layer them over the top. Lovely. Like so. So I'm just going to pinch, pinch, you said pinch. I'm just yep. going to poke out the rest of the pieces that I've just seen in there. Okay. And I'm going to use my dotty tape pen. Right. Are they still back in stock? The dotty tape pens are back in stock, and I Thank can reveal that as of that. yesterday, the deal that we have when we got them back in stock is live, so you buy four, uh, you only pay for three. We're going to take a short little break here, just um, whilst you're uh, poking and a sticking. Um, I will be back with you uh, for the later show. George will be here to finish off the uh, craft along after this short break. Um, Debbie, of course, will be here to finish the project, but uh, time to catch up. Any questions, get those in, uh, and George will be here for the final half an hour uh, as we uh, get ready for the final bit of the craft along in just a moment. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Yes, hello and welcome back to your craft along. My name's George Aiken. Ben, I've tag team Ben Mosby. He's gone off. He's uh, got to go and see a man about a dog. Uh, so I'm here for your rest of your craft along with the wonderful Debbie Robinson. Good afternoon, my dear. Good afternoon. I'm just busy blinging there. Uh, sorry, sorry, George. I was a uh, li little bit lost in my own little world, just giving me little butterflies a little bit of bling. Well, they... uh, but we're going to jump back into Let's do the it. craft along. Um, and I'll just, um, this, this bit is optional. Um, anybody who knows me, apart from loving butterflies, um, I love a bit of bling as well. Yeah. So I'm just using some of me uh, blingy bits uh, that I've got just to give up a little bit of decoration. So those are the two pieces that we've cut. Okay. I've just got those two bits ready. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the next part. Um, I'm going to use that opulent frame. Okay, so, okay. Uh, sorry, the opulent edge. Um, actually, to be fair, I will bring in the opulent frame at the same time. Um, and I'm only wanting to use one element of this one. There are three pieces to that beautiful die set yeah. where you can create three beautiful opulent frames as well. But for me, I'm going to just use this now. And again, I'm choosing the colours mm -hmm. that I think work with the frame. So on the outer part of the, where I'm going to pop my little butterfly edge there, like so. 
Absolutely. I'm going to use this opulent frame and I'm going to cut that out twice. Um, I've actually popped my beautiful butterfly. I've not just stuck it onto the top. I've actually popped it on top of the opulent frame part. So we'll go with that bit, George. And again, choose your colours. You've got all your colours. Uh, again, I'm going to go with that cream because I think the cream works beautifully with the colourway. So I'm going to put both of these on here and put this together at the same time. Lovely. Um, I'm just going to use, now you could cut yourself a little strip, but I'm not going to put it to the flush. I want a little bit of an edging. If I popped it to the very edge, I would just create that frame. But, so I'm just going to take it in about a quarter of an inch. Okay, okay. Um, and I'm going to just use a low tap tape again to hold it down into place. Linda's asking a question. Um, Absolutely ask we me. We were talking about double side dies beforehand. Yes. Can you emboss double side dies or is it not necessary? Uh, it's not necessary. Not necessary. It's not necessary, no, because um, those dies, um, because they cut out at the same time, uh, it would be difficult to go back in with your purple shim. It's not necessary, it's not needed. Um, so, no, I, no there's, no, there's no need. It'd be a waste of your time doing that one. Lovely. Yeah, absolutely. So, I'm going to use this now. I'm going to use my little plates again, but I'm going to pop that on and we're going to die cut those pieces through. So, I've gone Marvelous. back to my normal combination now, uh, George. Let me put my uh, gems back away. And just run that through the machine. Perfect. <coughs> oh, oh. <laughs> did you hear that? Then? Oh, no. Was that you on the machine? <coughs> Being echoed by the um, um, what battery. It, it weren't me. It was the machine. No, <laughs> it weren't me. I was being echoed by the um, estate next door. We've got um, there's some factories in there around yeah. around us. So yeah, they yeah. Uh, little tootle of one of the lorries I think it was. <laughs> uh, Robbie's asking on Facebook what tool did you use to put the jewels on there? Oh uh, that's me sticky up so that's me sticker so you might see Lisa Alton has brought one, mm. the Dream has brought one, mine's from Sticks too it's just a battered old pencil uh, that has been well loved and well used and it just means I can pick up gems that aren't got any adhesive to them yeah uh, it means that I can do that so <coughs> excuse me again George I'm just gonna take a little swig. You do that my lovely uh, don't forget Half an hour left of the craft along. We'll be chatting with Gilmore a little bit later on as well. Hello, Gilmore. Hello, my dearie. She's there, busy working away. Uh, we'll be chatting to her a little bit later on, who's crafting along with us. Uh, half an hour left on this brilliant craft along. Don't forget, coming up for you tonight is Creative Craving, 6 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Ben's going to be back. He's going to be back from the vets after. Uh, again, to with the wonderful Debbie Robinson. Loads coming up for you in Creative Cravings tonight, isn't there, Debbie? Oh, yep. Yeah. I've got a jam-packed show full. And, of course, we've got the wonderful Sandra oh, from goodness, uh, yes. Van Tangle as well. So it's going to be a good one, that one. Now, what I've just done, uh, George, is I've just released it by snipping my scissors mm -hmm. uh, to create this frame. Well, we'll stick it onto the front part of the card in a moment. Um, but I just want to cut myself another one. So I'm going to do exactly the same. I'll use probably one of my little scrap ends for this one. Uh, George, but I just need to straighten my edge off, so let me grab my guillotine. Okay, okay. Because I want a nice straight edge, uh, not a wonky one, and this is a scrap piece, so I'll just give myself a little bit of a helping on there by straightening that edge up. And we're going to put that die on as well. And again, I'm going to leave that little bit of a gap because I like that little bit of a frame, just that little piece of a frame. So I'm going to keep about, I'm going to say about. Yeah, Half an inch, to, quarter an inch to half an inch. It's entirely up to you. I suppose it depends on the size that you want. But we're going Perfect. to run that through the machine again. Uh, so I've got two pieces. And again, I suppose this depends on how decorative you want your book to be, your pop-up book to be. You could do this a few times. I've, I've put some on the inner sides of it yeah. as well. It's entirely up to you. The, it, that little bit, the decoration little bit, is probably your taste. Sometimes I go a little bit OTT, no. George. I know, I just, it's just, I, I, once I start decorating, I can't stop. Uh, but um, because of time, and I want to get the, um, I want to get the mechanism working as well and show you how to do that little bit. So you're probably coming at a really good time, actually, George. Well. Of us putting it all together. I'm always here for you, you know oh, that. bless you. So again, I'm just going to snip those two pieces out. Um, I could actually use the other side as well, but for now, we're just going to be happy with the two that we've got. There they go, like so. Just pinch those little pieces out. And I'm going to bring back the outer edge. So the outside of my card, this is going to sit on to the front panel. Lovely. Now, you can either pop it like to the base of where your, your card is, or you can take it up to the edge. I suppose it depends on the finish that you want to go with. But I'm going to go up to the very edge of this. So, okay, okay. And this is just decoration. I'm going to use my uh, tacky glue that's been decanted into my bottle because there's a lot of filigree designs to this 
this beautiful opulent um, edge. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to use my tacky glue for this bit. So Lovely. again, just pop that all the way around, like so, and then stick that on. And I'll do the trimming in a moment. Right. But I'm just going to stick that on. In fact, let's open it up to make it a little bit easy for myself. There we go. And then I'm just going to repeat that on the on other the side as well and put Look. that onto the bottom panel. Marvellous. Hey, remember, if you've got any questions or anything you want to ask, you can get involved in the show. Comment below. My goodness, where is my voice going? Are you losing your voice I'm as well? I'm losing my voice. I don't know what's happened. Yeah, uh, mine um, went again. Um, no. Do you know how we were here last, uh, last Wednesday and Thursday? Mm. Um, it was going then. Uh, by Friday, it were almost on its knees. Uh, and then I've had to <laughs> kind of stay, not silent, but keep, keep, a, keep resting it. Um, just because if I didn't, I think I might have lost it completely. Yeah. Which I know my family would have been happy with, but... Um, I think it's just the coughs and the colds that I've had, but it's just it's just took a bit, bit of a beating. Absolutely. So Mine's I'm sorry to hear that yours is as well. I don't well. know what's I caused it. it. I, just, I just woke up this morning and felt like Barry White a little bit. <laughs> and then I think we've all, all been like <laughs> that. I know Michelle's not been very well, has she? So. No, me and Michelle tomorrow. My goodness, who knows? Oh, bless. No, I, think Michelle's, I think Michelle's nearly recovered, bless yeah. her now, so she's okay. Duff bear. And I've just trimmed that off there, uh, George. Yeah. And it gives it a really nice frame. I'm actually going to pop um, this on as well. Okay, but I'll okay. do this afterwards. I'm going to show you. That's going to stick onto the front okay. um, to give that lovely finish. However... We're going to concentrate on popping the uh, mechanism. Oh, actually, shall we do a little bit more? Yeah, let's get us, let's get us tags cut first, George. So I'm going to put some of these pieces away. Can I just have a couple of seconds just to pop me a little bit of housekeeping, get all the dies put to one side, because i finished with that opulent frame now, edge, sorry. But I'm going to bring in the tags, mm -hmm. and I'm going to bring in the stamp, the butterfly kisses. Beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to need a couple of seconds, George, just to re, uh, reset myself here, because I've got loads of things in front of me, and I need to just have a little bit of a... A tidy desk. Absolutely. Uh, while you're doing that, let me remind you of that great collection, the Vintage Butterfly Collection. So much with it in it. That one you see on the screen with those extra 12-inch paper pads, the extra 8-inch vellum pad, and the A4 cardstock as well. £184.99, $230.95. It's humongous. Look at the size of that. What you are getting is a little bit of everything. Add on top of that your Club Inspired discount, you're going to get your platinum price at £147.99, $184.76. You're already saving yourself 25% at that price. Add on your Club Inspire, what a great deal you are getting. Only launched just over a month ago, the 21st of Feb, and already a great deal for you today. Now let's take a close look at the wonderful items that you are getting within this collection. Starting off, first of all, with your embossing folder. Perfect uh, for quick cards, bit of ink on there that's your 3d embossing folder now that wonderful double-sided die that debbie's been showing you today uh, again remember you do need your double-sided uh, plates for that available for you on the show head to the website crafterscompanion.com .co.uk.eu you've also got your gift tags as well the tags and tickets great idea i love these uh, so many ways for these remember you need for these at christmas or birthdays always worth doing if you're making your own gift tags your opular edge which you've seen debbie just using a couple of times there on her card design, alongside that worth, that worthless, that perfect, perfect papillon, um, papillon, papillon, papillon. I don't know. <laughs> Before I started here, a butterfly was a butterfly. Let me just point that out. <laughs> when I started here, there was one kind of butterfly. I didn't realise it was a species. Here we are with the papillon. Uh, you're getting those. It's French. What's it? French, French is butterfly. French, French butterfly. Papillon. Oh. Yeah. I speak, I speak German, don't I? Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is in German. I speak it. I mean, I don't speak it any good. Uh, three dies then within this one. A Schmetling, of course it's a Schmetling. Um, yeah, Schmetling. You get your three dies there. You get that wonderful outline dime. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Charlotte. Sorry, German Charlotte. We've got to our German correspondent in the gallery. Um, <laughs> uh, three different dies there for you. Uh, one of my favourites is the marvellous Mariposa. What's Mariposa, though? Is that Spanish for butterfly? I'm not sure. Is it actually? I'm not sure. I was taking the Michael, but <laughs> check me out in Spanish. Uh, Ole, here you are with this wonderful mariposa. I love the border. It gives a great stamp effect. Uh, postage stamp, should I say. Great. Uh, again, you've seen Debbie using this, the opulent frame. I mean, what hasn't Debbie used in this great collection? Uh, the opulent. Uh, again, the edgeable with a monarch. Uh, this wonderful butterfly. Uh, is it actually Spanish? 
Ooh, check me out. Um, that's right, I just try to flick my wrist like I'm cool. Um, the Monarch. West side. Uh, you've got a wonderful edgeable. You've never, I've never really seen that an edgeable stamp. That's incredible. Uh, then the sentiments again, always worth having within your collection. So many great, wonderful sentiments. Uh, sentiments. One of my favourites is butterflies can't see their wings. They can't see how beautiful they are. Uh, but everyone else can. People are just like that as well. Um, it always sounds great with that really croaky voice, voice I always think. Uh, then you've got the beautiful butterflies. Every one of these different. Uh, none of these stamps are appeared, not in different sizes, different species of butterflies. Then, when this collection really comes into its own, is it with its paper pads, vellum. Um, this wonderful vellum is just beautiful. I've seen people layer this, I've seen people cut this out. I've seen people using the actual butterflies themselves from the vellum collection and uh, layering them on. They look incredible. Yeah, a lot of people use them for wings, absolutely. Uh, then you've also, as well, got your 12 by 12 paper pad as well. Double-sided, always just worth... I mean, there's, when you see a bundle with extra paper pads, it's always worth stocking them up. When they're as beautiful as these are, uh, I think this is some of the prettiest paper we've actually seen. And it's got a little bit of everything. There's different colours, all corresponding with that rest that collection. You're getting it in the 12 by 12. Uh, you're going to get in the 6x6, six six. perfect. I mean, butterflies go well for every occasion. They go well for sympathy cards, for your, uh, christenings, birthdays, weddings. There's always going to be an occasion to use butterflies for. And might just put a little Christmas hat on it. You've got a Christmas butterfly. Uh, all there for you. That's your 12x12. 12 12. You're also going to get that within the 6x6 six six as well. And you're also going to get that wonderful uh, corresponding cardstock, that wonderful ivory colour. Uh, you're also going to be getting that wonderful lilac tealy, greeny, olive, and the pink sage. Let's go for pink sage. Um, that is beautiful. Let me show you as well the wonderful elements as well, the wonderful uh, extra elements, the binding ribbons that you're going to be getting in there. Uh, you're going to be getting the uh, two metres of elegant lace within this collection. You're also going to be getting the uh, butterfly, <laughs> butterfly charms as well, and you're also going to be getting the brads as well. There's so much within this collection to play with. £184.99, $230.95. Um, always brilliant collection. A little bit of everything. Also, that double-sided die. Remember, double-sided dies, you're going to need double-sided plates. Great bundle for you. You've got your larger, your larger double plates and your smaller double plates. £21, $27. Uh, Debbie's been using these because she's a legend. Uh, you could have a price on this at £16.80, $21.60. Uh, a brilliant collection. Right, so Debbie, what else are we going to do next? Right, I thought, because I've seen the time and I don't want to rush this bit, so I thought we'd go back to those mechanisms, the bit that we put the, you put the pages together. Yeah. So we're going to come back to these for a second. Now, bring in your pages. Before we do any decorating, we're going to bring in the pages. Because what we need to do now is get these into place. So I'm going to use some red liner tape. There is a reason that I use the red liner tape. Um, this, these little mechanisms are going to carry quite a bit of weight with the cardstock that we've already uh, cut. So I'm going to pop my red liner tape onto both of the both of the last of the flaps there. So I'm going to pop those on, and I'm just going to get that ready, uh, George. So I'm going to pop those red liner yeah. tapes. We are going to take off that pencil mark. I'm not worried about this little bit because it's going to be covered up into the book itself. Um, so with that in mind, I'm just going to trim this down. Just bear with me a second. Yeah. Uh, Sean Pack on YouTube has said, um, thanks, George. I've been resisting the collection until now. Love the stamp that I read out about butterflies and their wings. It's a great sentiment. And Mary Lee on YouTube, the vellum in this collection is very heavy and gorgeous. Heavy in a good way. Um, yes. I think it's some of the most beautiful vellum Crafters Companion has done. I love it. So when we say heavy vellum, what do we mean by heavy vellum? It's a really good weight. A, a, car, um, a GSM kind of right. weight. So it's got a really good quality. Totally get what she means. You'll know when you get it home. Um, there's vellums out there that are really thin and flimsy. Okay. Um, ours isn't. And of course, it's got that beautiful pattern on as well. So it's just absolutely exquisite. Right. I've got my red liner tape on. Now, I want you to look at this mechanism. So this mechanism, and I'll just show it with the main page, how we're going to pop this in. Mm -hmm. Now, before I do, George, we're going to do one more thing. So okay. do you know how we cut the little slits? And I know you wasn't with us, so you wouldn't know what I'm talking I about. I was watching. Was you watching? So yeah. can you see how this goes in? Yeah. Now, you want a little bit of movement. So when you think about that, and you're going to be popping on all of these three pieces together, let me get them in the right order, um, 
we want to make sure that these slits are facing down when right. they're in our mechanism. But I'm just going to take off a little slither. So when I take a little slither, I'm just going to go into where that cut line is and I'm going to take a, a little bit like you would do with a box, do you know, with your box flaps. Yes, of course. You pop a little bit of a, an extra piece off. I'm not taking a massive amount off. When I talk a slither, I'm talking a slither off. <laughs> and it's just so that the pages um, have got a little bit of space. If I just pop that on my hand, you can see that I've taken the tiniest amount off to what you can see on this yeah. side. Very, that very tiny with. amount. Little, the littlest bit yeah. is better than a big chunk. If you do a big chunk, um, your pages are going to slip out right. and you don't want that. So it's just the tiniest little bit and you're going to do that on the other one as well. So I did say we would come back to this and I would explain this little bit, but the tiniest slither yeah. just off and remove those pieces out. Lovely. Like so. Perfect. Right, so, um, what, what was that in my ear? It's John. Oh, is that? oh John, I didn't know you were in my ear now. He's been here for years. Oh, my goodness. I have not. I, you know, I didn't realise. I do apologise. I thought Charlotte would have bit, um, gone down a little uh, tone or two in it, an octave there. Charlotte's still there. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise. I do apologise. Now, before we put these in, I did say get rid of the pencil marks. So we're going to get rid of those. We don't want those in because no. it will look a little bit unsightly. I, so, I love you, Debbie Robinson, but sometimes you do worry me as a person. Oh, well, you know, I, don't, I, I mean... I didn't realise, and I've got it on quite low in me. Oh, have you now? Yeah, so we. Um, not saying that the guys were loud, um, but I just wanted to uh, just turn them down a little bit. They Sorry. are noisy sometimes. Sorry. Now, main book. This is what we're going to stick. So those two tabs, flaps, whatever you want to call them, are going to stick onto the inside panel. So we're going to take it. Can you see this first one? It's going to mm -hmm. go up to that flush edge like so. Because how it's going to bend, and so I'm going to do it, I'm going to do this slowly so you can I can show you what okay, I mean. Okay. We'll attach the pages in afterwards. So first things first, red liner tape off, and I'll do it on both sides. And the little teeth, we're going to call them a little teeth. Right. Come down, downwards, not upwards, downwards. So I'm going to just turn that to the side and I'm going to turn that so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm popping that on to the inside panel like so. And I'm going to take this one, I'll turn it this way so you can see it. This little tab is going to come back in and sit into that centre. So I'm taking it to the top and if I get perfect, John's even speaking for me, perfectly, perfectly put John to the inside of the spine so it's you can John see now he's so clever he is he is uh, well but what it that. means is that it folds nice and flat so you get that mechanism can you see yeah and that's how it sticks in oh, okay it. now we can't do that with the bottom one straight away because we need to position our pages in so we're going to bring in our three pages right now the the next size down goes into that back one so if i just lift that up it goes into the back I see. and you're going to position like so mm -hmm. and just this is the bit that i did say right at the very beginning would be the fiddliest bit but it's worth that little bit of a fiddle to get it into place so i'm just going to push those in and i'm yeah. going to position it so i'm going to have to i'm so sorry but i'm going to have to do this where i can <coughs> see rather oh, than right, angle it for the camera i was trying to do it for the camera angle but um, i don't think it's going to work you need to now if sorted. you can't get your pieces in it means you've taken you've not taken the you're not taking the slither off enough so it might mean that you need to go in back in there and take a little bit of a sliver. But can right. you see that's creating that angle? Perfect. And we're going to do that with the other piece as well. I might need to just take a little bit extra off um, because I might not have done it in... Um, might not have taken enough off, shall we say. Yeah, so again, the second piece, the second slit, you're going to slide into position. Let's see if I can do this upside down. It's yes. Thick cardstock, isn't and it? That's, that's that is exactly it, uh, John. So you don't want to go too mad and take too much off because if you do, they'll slip, they'll slip straight back yeah. out. But in the same respect, you don't want to have it too tight because it won't fold and it won't sit in there. I see. But can you see you're positioning it? So the top part and the very last one is going to sit on that inside one. Lovely. So the inside, and I'll, again, I'm just going to lift that out just for a second and position it and push it in. We'll, we'll, we'll start altering it in a minute, but I just want to make sure I've got it in to my little place. There we go, like so. So I'm just going to angle that up so you can see oh, lovely. perfectly. Very nice. Now, I'm not going to worry about this piece at the minute. I'm just going to okay. make sure all my little pieces are 
Yep. Yep, they're all right. Uh, so now, when I close it, and you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to position those uh, those pages in, and like you see, can you see it closes in? Yeah. Uh, and then position it in there. Perfect. Again, I can just see this one is this tiny bit off. I think I need to just get that little piece there. Let's see if I can get that in. There we go. And I'm going to tip that upside down so you can see now. I'm going to pop the bottom panel. Now this is the bit that's the fiddly bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is, because now we have that bit stuck in, made it a little bit easier. Yeah. This bit we can't stick in straight away. So it's where you're going to try and get them into place and then stick your tabs down. But I see. Same, so you back to front. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So this now is, again, the same manoeuvre where you're taking the largest page that goes in that one, the next size down goes into the next one, and then the littlest one goes into that piece. Uh, and those two pieces sit in the same place that we did before. Now, for me, this bit, I'm going to make sure I have got, because I noticed on my previous one there wasn't enough of a slither out, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So I'm just going to make sure I've got um, it. Bit, a little bit more of a, yeah, a little bit more of a V. I love Johnny's helping me out today with my words because uh, brain fog's setting right. It's a good, it's a good description, isn't it, brain fog? Uh, perhaps not on a craft long, but uh, there you go. Now you can see that a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to position those into place as well. So again, I'm just going to go in and might be... Like I said, just a little tad fiddly, but it's worth doing this little piece. So again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side as well. And you just try and position it. And like I said, it's, it is a fiddly bit, but it's worth the fiddle. And it's worth just getting that in. And you can see now that that's oh, in. So perfect. what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it flat, but yeah. I'm, going to have to do, I'm going to have to turn it round to myself, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to have to manoeuvre my tape off. So I'm going to do this uh, just by literally... Popping the pokey tool down there. This is when you can use wet glue, though, if you want to make it a bit easier. Yeah. Wet glue, and then you can hold it till it's taken place. I personally prefer red liner tape. But again, so if I this bit goes wrong, or you tear your card, you're not, you're, you're not damaging a lot. You're just no, damaging a little no, bit of card, not you? the hinge. So I'm just going to do this little piece as well. So we're going to talk about taking that side off. I'm going to take it down to that bottom fold again. So I'm going to turn it round. Make it easy for yourself this little bit. It's very difficult when I'm on camera to try and do it. But when you're at home, you'll be able to get a better gist of how you put it together. So again, I'm just going to go in. I can always position my pages back on in a second. So when I've got those bits done. And again, I'm just going to do the same with the bottom part. Lovely. So I'm just going to take my tape off and I'll reposition them. That's the best way I'm going to do it, actually. Take my tape off and then slip my pages back in. I think it'll be easier, that bit. So like I said, this little bit, I'll take a little bit of time till you get used to it and how to pop it in, but you're positioning your fold in the same place that I, I told you first off. Um, with cardstock as well, do you know, depending on your cardstock that you're using, if yeah. you're using um, something like a stamping card that's got a bit more weight to it, don't forget this is just a 250 GSM, um, but um, if you use something that's got a little bit more of a heavy weightness to it, GSM-wise, um, that little bit will fold in a little bit easier. I I'm see. I'm just going to position this one, though, um, George, because yep. my top one keeps slipping out. No and I think that's because I haven't got my panel in. Let's see if I can get that in. There we go. There we Lovely. Are. I'll check in with Gilmore, see how Gilmore's doing on this. I have actually said hello to Gilmore, yeah? Hello, Gilmore. How are you doing, my lovely? How are you getting on with this little bit of the crafting? Hi, George. I'm doing well. Um, I'm behind, though. That's all right, my lovely. Absolutely. There's it's no totally fine. It's one of those There's projects no, sometimes yeah. where it does take a little bit of time. So what part are you up to right now, Gilmore? Well, I'm sticking all the layers together, and I did it, used a little bit of a, the green. I didn't intend on using the, the floral part yeah. of the paper. But it looks so pretty, I couldn't Ooh. resist. And then I inked it with the Midas gold. Yeah, loving and that. And now I'm ready to put the fiddly bit in there. That's yeah, it, perfect. The fiddly bit. Just make sure you've got those, um, do you know, like I said before, with the slits, 
Just make sure you've cut enough of a slither off. Mm. Now, so you'll know, depending on how many mats and layers you've done, uh, but what you'll end up with, if I just turn it that way so you can see it, um, your book pages, and it does fold nice and flat as yeah. well, but it opens and it pops out. So if I just turn it there again, let's see if we can get that angle. Can you see now where you've got them positioned? And you can position your pages into the centre because you're not sticking those those pages not getting stuck into the no. um into the um the middle spine. fold that into the spine the they're just bouncing out there yeah. so that's how you create that and again just if i just hold it there when you've got them all into place you'll see that they sit and they sit in that nice v shape uh, and it gives you that lovely pop out feature so that when you open it up i'm mm -hmm. just going to alter my top part so i just need a second uh george yeah. if i can but while you're doing that can i ask you a question Thank from you. desert dweller yeah um, what glue does debbie use to glue down the sparkles i have trouble with glue residue or sticky not holding uh, tacky glue. Tacky glue. That's what I use, tacky okay. glue. Yeah, absolutely. It's tacky glue that I use each and every single time uh, for my uh, gems. That's what I use. Yeah. Perfect. Um, perfect. Thank you for asking. Actually, good question, good time to answer because that's, you know, that, that's what we're here for. While yeah. you've got us, ask away. But I always use, and I have it decanted into my, into my little bottle. So this is the little fine tip applicator bottle. So now you've got the mechanism done, it's a case of decorating. So I'm going to pop back onto that front and I'm going to use foam pads for this one. So I've got my pages into situ, like so. <coughs> Excuse me, George. That's all right, another feeling. <laughs> but I'm, just going to, I'm just going to decorate now. So I'm going to pop my opulent um, panel onto the front. Yeah. And then I'm going to stick this panel. Now my gems should have dried, but again, I'm going to give it a little bit of a lift by adding foam pads. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. <coughs> get it up, love. I know, get it all up. There we go. Uh, and I'm just going to pop those on. I'm not going to go mad. I mean, on me, me one that I did at home, yes. um, I did. I put quite a few, uh, few onto there. Uh, but it's just to give you an idea. And I'm going to pop my little butterfly just onto that centre. Lovely. Uh, John wants to ask a question. Of Do you course. always use your pokey tool to take your backings off? Of your pads? With your back be pokey tool? Yeah. Yeah. Just punch it. Can you see? That little picking. Yeah. It, so just, it makes it a little bit easier just to release. So if I just bring them one in for a second, um, you just stab it and then li it lifts it without me having to get my fingers. So you just stab it and then lift it. So that's how you would do that with your pokey tool. That's oh, what I do fun? anyway. John's um, learning stuff. It's great. <laughs> So again, um, I am gonna I'm gonna keep this one nice and flat actually. So okay. I'm gonna use my uh, tape pen. So and I'm gonna just pop that on into the panel, and that's gonna sit onto the inner page like so. And it's got a little bit of an overhang because I quite like that. Uh, now then, the rest of it. Now mm, this is this is I can just see the time. I can't believe. Where does the time go I when know. you're having fun? Uh, but you're going to do the rest of the decoration. So I'm going to show you um, so you can see what I did with this. Okay. So I've used the tags. So I used a couple of the tags for this one uh, because I quite quite like the idea of having um, a little um, bit of a, I'm not going to say, but a double, a double edge of this. And I'm going to use some of that ribbing because I did mention that you can use ribbing as well in this. I'm going to use a bit of a purple with this. So I'm going to take this off, take the tape off. Yeah. And I'm just going to thread a little bit through there, George. So I'm going to take that and push that into there. Um, and I'm just going to use my pencil for that bit, push that in. How are we doing for time, Charlotte? Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, do you know what? We've got the main part of the card done. Yes. Uh, I've shown you how to put the little mechanism in there. Um, and to be fair, it, even though it was fiddly, it weren't massively fiddly. No, it weren't. It didn't take that long, did it? Not really. Um, so, yeah. So, what I've done is tied those two together, and I'm going to give it a little bit of a... Um, where have I got tape on there? I'm just going to pop that on. And I'm using... I'll, in fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I've used one of the little with love from the yeah. stamps. I'm using one of the dies from the inside, um, and I'm just going to pop. While you're doing that, let me say goodbye to Gilmore, because we're rapidly Perfectly. coming towards the end of the show. Uh, Gilmore, we don't get, even get a chance to talk. So, Gilmore, just show us where you've got to in this craft long. Not too far. I'm still working on the uh, putting in the spine and then the pages in. Oh. But I will post pictures later. Oh, We'd love perfect. to see him. Uh, Gilmore, have you enjoyed yourself today? 
it, I, I'm so looking forward to finishing this. I'm not going to stop. It's, it's really a great project that Debbie selected for this back along. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it. Is it going to be for somebody? Yeah, I think my daughter. Very Aww. nice. Well, Gilmore, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's always nice to put a name, a face to a name. Because I see you comment all the time. It's lovely to put a, a face to the name. Uh, you take Thank care you of yourself, so and hopefully we'll see you, you soon, too. Gilmore. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, right, time is rapidly coming away from us. Hannah Law on Facebook. Love the colour palette of this card book. But like John was saying beforehand, this doesn't necessarily have to be one of those projects that you do with the Butterfly Collection. You could do this with your Country Lane Collection. You could do it with whatever collection you wish. Hopefully, you've got some inspiration on what to do with your future projects within crafting. However, while it's on this brilliant price, you've seen the Vintage Butterfly. This Vintage Butterfly Collection, not only are the paper pads brilliant, you've got the dies, you've got the embossing folders, you've got the stamps, you've even got double-sided dies, ribbons, you've got studs, you've got the wonderful lace, and you've also got those charms. So much within that collection at £184.99, $230.95. Um, that bundle there, if you were to buy these items individually, you're getting yourself a 25% saving off that today. Um, add on top of that, your Club Inspire discount. If your Club Inspire Platinum, £147.99, $184.76. And again, if you're brand new to crafting, you're going to get a little bit of taste of everything. Yes, it's an investment, but it's an investment which is going to last you a long, long time. Especially when you're getting the extra paper pads, the extra vellums, and the extra A4 card. Debbie, Thank you so much for this. Where You're welcome. So I'm, just gonna, I'm just going to show you because obviously we didn't get to complete all the decoration. But this is where I got up to with um, my Craft Along project. Stuck on the front panel. If you want to position your pages so that, I mean, you can see they work beautifully. I've just gone so far there. But I'm going to show you the finished one uh, because there's not much difference to it, George, in the yeah. terms of that on the very front, I used uh, some of the ribbing to create a bow and use the charms in there and popped one at the top and the bottom. And on my inside panel of this one, do you know that beautiful um, double-sided die? Yeah. I ran it through again in purple and white and just snipped out the little Perfect. butterflies so that they work beautifully around there and the only difference that I've done there is I've added a little bit of a butterfly trail Lovely. in gems um, and on the inside panel so I didn't quite complete it there but on the inside panels use that opulent edge again just onto there and again if you want to decorate your inside of your pages that's absolutely fine make sure that you take your time when you're doing your um you, you know you're you're putting your pages together but you can position them into place beautifully i can't wait honestly i can't wait to see your pictures um, like i said this wasn't my design this was a lovely design by the wonderful sam calcott who does mixed up designs go and check a page out because she's just absolutely wonderful absolutely. and i took some inspiration from there perfect beautiful. um we're going to see debbie again in an hour with ben for your wonderful creative cravings i'll see you back here tomorrow for a wake up call and craft chat and create plus sandra's going to be here from santango we'll see you back here in an hour <laughs>